I'll do it. We're playing the intro. Let's do it. I feel like right. I got to be going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. And then we'll just move it. it. We can move it around. As we're going live. Like, who cares? No, no wait. It's kind of. No. Yeah. You're right. Oh, yeah. Just, uh. Pull it out from it. Look, we started like this, which is nice because like we look to uh, we can look at Trent's new muscles. Yeah, look at that. Look at those things. They're huge. Guns, man. Um so maybe I should oh, man, dude, you broke it. Where? I yeah, no, it's go fine. live, baby. I think you got a thousand of them. I'm sorry. Uh, I did buy a thousand of those and I Literally don't think it's thousand? broken, but they come yeah. in packs of a thousand? Hey, look, we're live on YouTube, too. I we're mean, uh, Facebook. Live. Facebook. Hey, my YouTube Hello, people. Hello, Facebook Live. Hey, what's going I on, no everybody? I no longer have access to my Facebook. It's fine. And I don't feel like... Oh, I should probably turn that freaking news. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. I'll turn it off. Yeah. You're going to get a uh, cease and desist yeah. if you don't turn that off. Just turn the volume uh, down. Bit, 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 bit. Right. Here we go. I got it turned right. off. So, are we live right now? Yeah, yeah we're live. Let's so go. How's everyone... Uh, been doing i feel like we haven't done this in a while um that's because we haven't because of multiple technical issues and uh ryan was in uh somewhere i was in south texas i was in McC well technically i was in donna texas donna here now, how far Which, south it's 15 minutes from the border not even 15 minutes you, from the border did you did i go to mexico cross no i didn't now i could because you were afraid you can no. answer honestly. No, really, I didn't. No, we were going to. Uh, we were going to go into Reynosa, and uh, I got. Uh, say that again. Reynosa. Ooh, yeah, a little flair on there. Can you say that in English, please? I don't think I Reynosa. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, 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 I don't think quick. I got it the first time. But uh, I, I got it then. Yeah. So Reynosa is a, a little, just a little, that little. It's actually a city just across the border um, from McAllen, uh, Texas. And yeah, no, we were gonna go, uh, but we made plans with uh, my girlfriend's uh, best friend because uh, it was her birthday when uh, my girlfriend's family was going to Mexico, and so we we went and spent time with her best friend instead of going into Mexico. We did get a whole lot of Mexican candies, which I love Mexican candies. I hate them. I'm sorry. You don't like the chile? That's what it is, right? I think. I mean, it's yeah. just a weird it's taste. A spice. Whatever. You yeah. don't like the spice. I like spicy though. But you don't like the. Do you like the sweet and spicy? It is like in the same. I think it just kind of smells like dirt. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because they put. I mean, that's the chile. That's what. Like, it's not dirt, obviously, but but it has like an earthy kind of. How can we be so sure? There may be dirt in it. I don't know. Okay. But people eat dirt all the time. But no, I I love them. Like. These uh, these these little suckers called piña locas. Yep, are those the, spi the spicy ones? Yeah, it's it's salty and spicy ones. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's not salty. Well, no, it's not really salty. It's it's like uh, it's a pineapple uh, sucker with uh, or paleta with uh, uh, with chili in it. Paleta is just sucker. It's like oh, okay. a like a yeah. So when you say you want paleta, <laughs> you want paleta, the paleta. Me. So uh, how do I say? Can I say genitals? Can you paleta say me? So, uh, paleta does not, I don't think there's a, uh, there's not, genitalia. You can't, it's not like English where the, oh, there's sorry. also a verb Yo soy associated paleta. with that. Paleta. But, but yeah, si. like, uh, um, now, now I will tell you this the word for popsicle in, in Mexico, if you say that to a Puerto, uh, Puerto Rican, it's going to be a dirty word. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, which I can't even think of the word. W, please hide your children right now. I cannot think we're of it. We're about to hear <laughs> so, an inappropriate word. No, Let's hear it. Inappropriate. So, I don't know it. That's the thing. I can't remember it off oh, the top okay. of my head, honestly. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's good. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, it's good you had fun. Yeah. I th a lot has happened since the last time we were on the air. Um, yes. Right now, as we speak, people from around the world are kicking the soccer ball. In the World oh, Cup. Oh yeah, World Cup uh, started today. America, Cup. Yesterday, America is going to be hosting the next World Cup, or is it the next one? Or uh, yeah, no, twenty twenty no, it's twenty twenty six. I thought. Where is it? Russia right now or Spain? It's in Russia right now. Russia. Yeah. Which is a I think it's in twenty twenty four or six. Yeah. Well, it's I, every well the, the the World Cup is every four years and it's offset from the Olympics. So I think it's twenty 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 six. Yeah. I think I think that's what it is. Um, e threes happened. Um, Mr. Trump met with uh, Mr. Kim John. Kim John, everything's fixed. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Have they met yet? As long as we have Dennis, we got a lot to talk about today. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's get oh, started. World news. Uh, Mr. Decky. Well, Bolt will be here, by the way. Yeah, um, he will be here a little bit later. As soon as he's here, we might just take a pause and hook up his mic and get going. Uh, but yeah, I know he's on a tight sh schedule today, so we just got started. But um, but yeah, what do we want to kick off with? Uh, how about the fact that they found complex uh, molecules on Mars? We start with that. Yeah, let's do it. I, let's I go. put a we link. Got, or I, I think opened we got it up this a tab link. On there. Where's it already? Yeah. So the, the the Curiosity rover found uh, the building blocks of life. Now, here's the thing. Building blocks of life, that doesn't mean they found, like, DNA or, like, uh, cells of any sort. They found, I think they found, like, you know, uh, uh, complex uh, molecules basically mean large chain hydrocarbons, which are the building blocks of life. That's, you know, long chain hydrocarbons are like sugars, things like that. And they did huh. not find sugar by any means, but I think they found um, some al alcohols and um, and different different uh, molecules. So basically, they, oh, good. they found things that were in our... Uh, the early Earth. They found more yeah. than a lot right. of people thought they were actually going to find, right? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously they haven't really found... Um, life itself on Mars, but, but it, if you find things that are in our same chemical tree, or right. which are the uh, table <laughs> that I always you mean the table the, uh, of elements? Yeah, the periodic table. Yeah, yeah. If you're finding things that are there that are similar, you know, then, then it kind of yeah helps with the theory of being able to sustain life at well, some point. Well, yeah, and, and you know, the, so the whole the whole question of how life formed on Earth. Is, is always a highly contested no it's not oprah winfrey created life right Duh. sorry uh, right <laughs> that's easy for the, all the winfreyists out there I, I apologize for what i'm about to say <laughs> but life possibly what scientists believe of course began in what they, what they call it the the soup the organic soup so just a bunch of hydrocarbons in a hot pool with water eventually creates uh, complex mo molecules uh, like DNA, RNA, and those are the building blocks of single-celled organisms. And you know, the single-celled or organisms eventually band together and create multi-cell organisms. Is that what Jesus did? That's exactly what Jesus did. Yeah, okay. that's how he created water. That's from fair. Wine. I think, that's I think fair. it was literally a farm. Now, can we get the chat on the? Uh, it's here. Is it here? No one's here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. Sad. It's okay. Yeah. I, I don't have it spamming right now because I got a race, so um, you won't see what's going on yet. But yeah, you take a week off and you lose all your followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how the internet, that's how quick it is. I guess that's how quick the internet is. Yeah. Now, I, I want to get back on topic. So that's really cool that we found that because, yeah. I mean, everyone was dying to see what we could find. And just the fact that we did have something go to Mars and we're actually getting stuff done is great. Uh, yeah. and I know it's not like a little like Martian that we found, but you know what? It's a step in the right direction. Uh -huh. Maybe next step, find the Martian. Yes. Find the Martian. It, step three, breed with the Martian. Step three. Yes. Yeah. Like, like not even, not, not communicate with the Martian. Breed. Immediately breed. Okay. If you watch any sci-fi action movie, the hero breeds with the alien. Always. Guardians really? of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Thor. Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it, it, it was, just happens. It just happens. Yeah, create yes. some sort of. We human, are sexual creatures, so we just we're very, in high I mean, that, anything. We're like, like well, honestly, we have human sex with nature it? is manifest destiny. Yeah, spread yeah. your seed from sea to sea. Yeah. Now uh, you might not be able to afford child support, but that I, <laughs> so, ideally that's what that's what human nature. So, in is. one other right. interesting thing on organic molecules and, and DNA and stuff, so. They're, they've also discovered, and this is separate from the, the, the Curiosity rover's discovery of complex molecules on Mars. Uh, they've, they've discovered a... Uh, so DNA is typically... Uh, what was it? A, uh, there's like four letters. This is A, B, or A, C, D, and G, or whatever. Well, there's also a fifth one that I think they're... They've, they've, I think they've synthetically created this complex uh, molecule. Animantium. Um, yeah, it's adamantium, and they're calling it. I believe they're calling it E. Um, but it, it, so the, what they're trying to, sh I think what they're trying to get at with this is that we all think that life has to evolve in the way that it evolved here, and right. that that what we call life, that yeah. is DNA sequences, cause you know cause uh, an, an organism to uh, create sugars in a particular way sugars and amino acids and things in a particular way and that's how life 
has formed and and it's true that that's as far as we know that is the only way life can form because that's the only uh, example of it that we have right but what they really want to discover and especially why they're they're looking at mars for this is that life could evolve in a completely different way it maybe it's just that the particular circumstances on earth was were um were perfect for this type of evolution and and it'd be interesting to see if if there's another way that life can form and that's why they want to go to they want to create that sub that can go underneath the ice sheets on titan or one of the other moons of uh saturn i can't yeah, remember yeah. what moon it is I remember in, my, talking in about my head the same have had at one point in time the same because how not even have had but currently because there because there's a large sheet of ice and then below that there's a sea of methane, I believe. Chad Munden just clapped at us. Hey, what's hey, up, Mr. What's Chad, up, Chad Munden? What is up, Chad Dead Munden? Ace, uh, actually, uh, Dead Ace asks where Bolt is. Bolt should be on his way. Yeah, he, he said he was on his way about 11 He's got to do so. something in the AM, so, I mean, he may not be here. He actually, yeah. didn't he say he had to be home at midnight? Uh, midnight 30, so we should uh, have him for a little bit. He should, yeah. he should be able to come in and talk for just a yeah, little we're, bit. Uh, we're really hoping he comes in. I remember them talking about that, how one of the moons has like a super thick layer of ice, and they think underneath that is just uh, like oceans of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it could be, and, that, and that's the thing That would too. be so crazy. Like, we think in such uh, locked-in ways, like we think, because we always relate everything to ourselves, right. like as yeah. if we are the center of the universe. We're sort of egocentric like, in I mean, that it's, sense. Yeah. It's, hard, it's hard not to. Yeah, yeah. because it's all, we, you know, it's it's all we've know. ever known. So, but you could go, I mean, even in our own oceans, like there could be yeah. something in the depths of our own oceans that we have no yeah. idea, or yeah. even how a dolphin communicates and lives. I yeah. mean... That well, just because we can't directly communicate with a dolphin doesn't mean they aren't living way beyond us in some sort of way. Now, just to speak to that a little bit, so I started fishing recently, and one of the ways I got myself and he killed the dolphin. So one of my no, ways kidding. I convinced myself into getting to fishing was I read that fish don't feel pain like people do, like they don't have the yeah. actual pain receptors. Like there's neuro and then right, yeah. the capability. Th that's why there's like vegan, right? Well, Instead yeah, of vegetarian. But, yeah. So. <laughs> It, what I, fit, I essentially that's found true. by researching is but that this original study was just done by basically the people that originally said that were just a bunch of fishermen that just like why you guys care it's just fish they're clearly not smart enough to feel yeah. pain and then the people there was actually groups of people that studied it and be like yeah this fish clearly is suffering when you put this mm -hmm. thing in its face yeah like it's clearly feeling pain and, yeah. and so it, it's just weird to think about like there's complex creatures out there and yeah i think it's because we don't like, know a lot about it because we just don't yeah. have the technology if we, there if we to think really it doesn't know. have like a complex nervous system then we're like oh well it can't feel pain yeah well, i think if it's just anything pain. below us in the food chain the right. majority yeah. is going to be like well it's just a dog right or well, it's just it's, a cat I mean, I mean but those are literally held higher standard because it's your pet yeah. but it's like what's the difference between like a lion or something? well and a pig like or a pig, pig is pigs, are, smart. pigs are actually smarter than dogs I mean, I hate to say it, but they really are. Yeah, I, I, that's what I hear. What's up, Reed? Uh, Jacob, Chad, he, what is up, man? He is actually, should be on his way. Um, yeah, yeah. He'll be coming I know we miss minute. Jacob's beautiful face, too. Yeah. This is unexpected. We're, we're just as well, devastated. So, the last few weeks, he's been falling asleep, so hopefully, I, I talked to him earlier. He sounds like he has some energy right now, so. Awesome. We'll be kicking, yeah. kicking butt. We'll be, you know, we'll be adding him in soon. Trent, you know what's nice? We get to see your sweet tat. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Got the <laughs> my eighteen-year-old mistake. That was yeah. So, you take it that way. Hold on. So with everyone thinking right now, like, I oh, man, I really want to get a tat. What do you say? Think about it more and um, put more money into it than one hundred and fifty dollars. So I have a I have a different view on it. A little different view well, on it. Let me continue. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. But go ahead. you should definitely if you just if you're dead set on getting one. Don't let the idea of regretting it get in your way because okay, I yeah. don't like I don't regret it at all. Like there's no embarrassment for okay, me yeah, people that's, seeing my tattoo. Yeah. Like if I see someone who's talking about cool tattoos and they ask me, "Hey, do you have a tattoo too?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, I do." It doesn't yeah. mean anything. I got it on impulse buy, but yeah. I mean, I got it. That's yeah. it. I mean, so it might be kind of silly that I have a weird. I don't think it's silly. Cross like it. thing on my arm or whatever this well, it's is. The, it's it's the, a compass, basically. It's a compass, yeah. yeah, it's a compass, basically. I can make up some backstory, but really, I just wanted a tattoo yeah. and I thought it looked cool. Yeah, it's, and I like green. It's so. a cool compass. I like it. So you should definitely you get always, a tattoo. 
It's you can if, if you get if somebody you think, you, think about it a little bit because you could spend that hundred fifty dollars on something that means a little bit more. Like if right, you like a yeah. video game, get something about that video game. Right. Or if you yeah. like a movie that's like your favorite movie, yeah. just don't get the Triforce Dude. symbol because everybody has the Triforce. You know symbol. what? Which one's the Triforce? <laughs> She yeah. she has the Deathly Hollows Triforce symbol or whatever. That's the, right. The yeah, combined. She I forgot. Yeah, she combined it. That's kind of cool. That thing was like eight hundred dollars. Uh, I don't the, want to talk about that. Zelda this. thing. The, yeah, that's the Zelda. Oh, okay. Zelda. I got you. Thing. I got you. Yeah. yeah well, the amount of you? money that my wife has spent on tattoos. Yeah, your wife blows my mind. She's about to get another one. Didn't she well, just, just get one like two months ago? Buy your own, uh, you know, gun and just say, "Hey, I got you from no, now no, on." No, no, no. Because I'm bad. I like I said. I want to get into drawing and stuff. But I would never tattoo anything on my wife. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't mind because she gets the high quality stuff. Right. Yeah, she does she her does. research. She so spends a thousand dollars on each tattoo she gets, and then yeah, looks right. Great. I mean, it is for life, so yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not now, but and she puts so much thought much. into it. And me, yeah. I'm like, oh, like a star. Yeah. Star, only... star on my arm, please. The hey, old... it looks cool though. <laughs> You don't have any no, tattoos, do you, Ryan? No, no, it's no. Ryan does have some tattoos. I have one tattoo. He has a secret tattoo. I have a secret tattoo. It's not even that secret. Well, I mean, like, yeah, where, it's where a, is it's, at? It's you can the, see it's it. It's the blind now. skateboard guy. It's the blind, uh, yeah, skateboard oh, dude, guy. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Let me tell you, I always love that I character. I skated with yeah. this guy. <laughs> dude, awesome. I love that one. Me and him skateboarded for at least 10 years together, and this guy never owned a blind never. dick in his life. No, no, no. That's not true. You, no, hey. I owned one that you hey. broke, I think. No, no, no. I think you broke yeah, my brother's fired. blind dick. I did. I owned a blind skateboard for literally... 15 minutes Look, we're talking this guy what um dun, 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 dun. I, yeah. I mean Dude, I, so, no 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 <laughs> I, I do <laughs> industries right no no blind, no, blind it's, it's, it's its own brand yeah. I actually really, just do blind I it's world industries thing right no, world industries is it's, it's own thing yeah but it's different so I did own yeah, yeah there we yeah. go I have that I have the little the, my the mom little probably Grim Reaper. thought that that was like the devil and I couldn't have one yeah but I still had stickers and stuff so the, okay here's my story about my blind skate the blind skateboard I had for about 15 minutes uh -huh. I went to what's the skate park that used to be in Grapevine Mills Mall uh oh I don't know but I know what you're talking yeah. about it's uh, like suburban something right I've been there yeah. a few times well, it's, it's, like it's not there anymore as far as I understand no no, no. no, no. it's Woodward, Lego Land right no. Woodworks Woodworks that's Woodward, right yeah. that's right so i bought a deck there i had like trucks and everything for my old skateboard i needed it i, I had my old board wasn't broken i just like it was worn down i wanted a new yeah, board yeah, yeah. so i bought one like at the skate park put my own my new trucks on it and everything i skated on it for about 15 minutes i took i did a uh i did a, a kick flip off of a like a, a three foot drop yeah and landed both feet in the center of the board and broke it oh what a yeah, baller though ace. yeah because I've never done one before. No, that's a horrible landing. No, I know. Though. I know. Yeah. That's a horrible, you don't land with both feet in the center of a skateboard. But yeah, I can barely was, land those. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it made me mad that I broke it. Um, and this is after I got the blind tattoo, so it was almost even worse. Because then you're like, like oh yeah. well, these skateboards suck. Yeah, these skateboards. <laughs> after really, you got yeah. the tattoo, but yeah, for and, life. Then, and then I never bought another blind board after that. I did not get the blind character because of the skateboards though that's that's one thing i did not get it because so why did you skateboards. get it because it looked cool man i got a stupid kind of like an 18 year old me philosophical reasoning behind it um, is it because you yourself were a skeleton trying to find your path in life <laughs> it's my i identify that's as a deep. skeleton that's no deep, no man. not identify just just, try, just okay. a little too deep for me no uh <laughs> no 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 it was like uh you know well i don't you know you don't want to fear death so what's the better what's the best way to not fear death is that to represent death in the most cartoonish way you can and keep them as close to you as you can hey that's hey, a little deeper yeah, that, hey, that is, makes sense yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. I that's, mean, what can I say? That's way deeper than me at that age. That, that's way deeper than my star. My star. See, yeah, you know, I got sad because they started spell. They started selling World Industries boards at like Academy Walmart. or yeah, something. Because yeah. World, World Industries, I mean, but I they, love where the, oh, their they, characters yeah, are so their funny. Their characters dude. are hilarious, but they like, were always I'm, like the cheaper. Like, yeah, that was I like that, the halfway between. That was like if you're into paintball, that was like your mini or. Yeah. Hey, you're don't a, you're a hate pithany. on the mini. Chad no, no, Munnin's no, here, and he will back no, no, me no, up. The mini was a great marker, but it was definitely your halfway between a spider and and uh, 
like a DM7 or right. whatever was the, the thing when I played. Very niche conversations. And, uh, and by the way, <laughs> this is pretty niche. Not to change the subject to paintball, I don't know. I mean, we're losing viewers uh, by the second. I don't yeah, know if anyone happens, has man. looked into paintball lately. No, but they. I, I still I work mean, there, so yeah. yeah. I mean, you, have you looked into like the paintball guns, like what uh, Eclipse is selling right now? I looked yeah, into we, it we, yesterday. We, the other, in everything's so different now. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. We still see I remember, stuff from time to time. I remember probably the last few times I played paintball. I played with a mini. Uh huh. It's so good. It was so good. I didn't it's so nice like it yeah. anymore. Yeah. Um. Well, because, Empire has no. They I, changed the name, but it's the Empire Axe. Oh, okay. Yeah, the I love, Axe. Yeah. I love playing Snake. And a mini is perfect. It's just perfect for that. Yeah, yeah it's pretty nasty. It's tiny. You, uh, you can put a small Empire Invert <clears throat> Mini, man. Ooh, right, okay. They, yeah, they yeah. haven't changed the axe. No. Kind of. Chad, what's your let's let's hear. They haven't changed the axe. They haven't changed the axe yeah. at all, have they? Why do you hold on? Chad kind of has his mini still. Chad, I'm pretty sure I, I sold it for you. I believe that Chad. Let wait, me wait, play wait. with his mini. Let me, get, let, me get weird. let me get a Google search. Does the invert mini still exist? No, because well, Empire it, bought him. Well, well, no, no. no. Empire's always owned him. Empire. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Key Action Sports and uh, what is called uh, GI Sports. Yeah. Now, GI Sports bought everybody. So GI Sports now owns all of it. Ooh. Hey, what's up, Chad? Still got an ego. That is 06 Nexus ego, and that is nasty, dude. Yeah. So that's Chad, the other Chad, right? Yeah, yeah. we yeah, got yeah. both Chads in the room. Yeah, this is cool. Man, um, you can honestly, I was looking up for uh, Winston. He actually hit us up uh, just on group chat trying mm -hmm. to figure out where he could buy like uh, Ego like 12, Ego 11. And actually, you can uh, find these on Amazon for about 400 bucks right now, Ego 11. Uh, and now they, they did actually, they still have the Egos, but they're renamed now. Uh, it's under a different like name. It's um, but I mean the Lux is gone. All this other stuff is just gone. Now. Check this out. You want to see something hilarious? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We actually just had the got these guns uh, this week. Markers. Is it, is, well, is it a fifty? It's a fifty cal rental for um, Planet. Let me look up what planet. the hell? I don't know what that is. I think that's a that's a lens. Are you serious? So, oh, no, it, looks it looks like, like a Lux. Lux. That yeah. straight up looks like it a looks miniature real Lux. fancy, right? Um, we just we were in the show. Uh, actually, I saw Chad Munnin recently because I was at the paintball show in Washington, and we saw these, and they look kind of cool. But the the safety is terrible. Like you have to flip it, uh, yeah. and kids aren't gonna do that because it's oh, made. No. For, I mean, it's a rental gun. That um, straight up looks like an a Lux. Like it, straight up looks like a Lux. It's very fancy, and it shot, and it's really quiet, and it's a fifty caliber. It's really cool. But uh, I will say the. Um, we we just got like ten to test out and uh, no like no the, s the safeties actually did not work correctly because the trigger would bend enough to get yeah. past the safety well, it, and still shoot. So, <laughs> so they had this they kind of had redesigned something and then that was faulty. So but that's normal. I mean yeah. we send it back, they replace, fix it up, and then you know because they don't have very many out there right now. But they I, look pretty cool. I when can't I, I can't tell you how many times I got my I got my hand shot. Holding the end of a barrel because some kid didn't put a barrel stock on it walking in, like yeah. walking off the field. Yeah. yeah. No safety, no. Look, that's, that's straight up, that was a Lux right there. That's crazy. And I, and I want to say this. I'm not a huge, like, pro-gun person, but I think everybody needs to learn a little bit of gun safety, whether you're going to own one or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because because I it had my, had I, like, when, my, when I got a paintball gun or a BB gun, my dad went through a, an hour course with me on gun safety. This is for a BB gun and right. a paintball yeah, yeah, yeah. gun. No, I'm, that means he, he's good because, uh, I mean, that's kind of what we're slightly doing at these when we're running kids through paintball fields. It's like you are teaching them the very beginnings yeah. of gun safety. And at that point, you're like, wow, these kids never need guns because yeah. they're all horrible at it. But yeah, yeah. it's a now, nice place to learn. You know, what's funny. I found out about my dad. Uh, I, growing up, I did not know this, but my dad is always within like, because he has this conceal and carry, but he doesn't carry. He just has it. Yeah. But he's uh, wherever he is, like his shop, his house, whatever. He's always within about 10 feet of a gun. Right. Like a, like a pistol. He does, he owns a couple, he owns a, like a, a deer hunting rifle. He doesn't deer hunt. He owns a little yeah. small, uh, semi-automatic 22 rifle. Doesn't. That's really not a deer hunting that. rifle. Or you no, also, you also, I was like, also, okay, yeah. Okay. 
I he owns like, a, uh, a 12 gauge. I'm pretty sure you try to shoot a deer with a 22. <laughs> yeah, you're you're going to get, you're gonna get arrested. <laughs> you can kill some turtles. <laughs> Just don't hit them Turtle. on the shell because it'll so, ricochet off. I ran into do that Do they problem. actually make angel paintball markers anymore? Um, like, did that company go I, away completely? I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gone 100%. Yeah, because they, I mean, they were great guns, but like they had like one year where they were hot, and yeah. then after that, they just completely fell behind on the times. Yeah. And they released new, like, new versions of the Angel to try to bring it back, but they were just garbage compared to what was out. Yeah, it, it's the, the whole industry of paintball is pretty much now almost a monopoly. I yeah, mean, it's there's just die in eclipse, right? There's like. You know those two, but really, uh, like GI Sports owns like everything. Yeah, you know. I if mean, you go look at any has, little brand. Has, I mean, you know, yeah. if I mean, it all shrinks, then someone's gonna eat everybody up. So, so um, it all makes sense. You know, we want to uh, kind of transition into uh, some E3. You know, before we go, we th- should should we go into games right now, or do you want to go into something else? First? Well, okay, I let's do go have one in, other. Let's go games, or you want to go? I ahead. got one thing that might lead into gaming. All right, let's go. Okay, and it's not even a huge like a because we were, I was talking to you about it uh, about possible solutions to your USB port issues. Raspberry cluster. Yeah, the, the Raspberry Pi cluster, and I just think this is interesting. I mean, it people have built some really cool clusters with uh uh pies now okay here's the here's the thing i don't know i and, and the thing is i'm still learning about this so i'm not some expert and so right. take everything i say with a grain of salt right but from what i understand this is not a great solution for um if you're planning on making a gaming pc or you plan Anything on using no, you can't, labor. Yeah. yeah you're not gonna cluster anything into doing actual productive stuff there's a caveat to that though what, so, so what is it good? Because so, okay, all right, yeah. So here's 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 Go. the idea, right? So the idea behind clustering is you have a whole bunch of processing threads, processor threads, mm-hmm. right? So you can process an amazing amount of uh, information at one time. The problem with that, especially when it comes to gaming, is that uh, most game uh, most games are built uh, like the, the 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 code is built to be processed on say maybe four cores yeah multi like eight cores whatever it, it just to add what he's saying um, that's why a lot of games where you see like Ryzen ran into this where they have eight core processors out there right now and yeah they're not very high rated for gaming it's because most games really aren't programmed yeah or to use multiple for, cores to use right? multiple cores it's, right. that's why the i like the i4 or i5s, excuse me, yeah. are still rated better than the Ryzen R8s. It's because they're using four cores and they have more power in those four right. cores. But anyways, back to what you were saying. Well, no, no, kind of just on top of that. Like one of the worst uh, games uh, out there right now that I mean, actually everybody plays that, that ha- does not take advantage of multi-core processing is Minecraft. Yeah, because of the way Minecraft, w- the way Minecraft is originally written and the way it's still written. Maybe yeah. now that Microsoft's got a hold of it, they'll they'll rewrite it and 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 do a lot. And I've, is from it what Andrew I understand, it's- Alan, what's up, my man? <laughs> what's up, man? I don't know. But who's that? Andrew know. from Gatsbot, or I don't just know. some random? I don't know. Either way, know. welcome, Andrew. Welcome. But the fuck is this? But yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck, whoa, whoa. Fuck. So fuck. hey guys, when we no, added fuck. That, oh, with a Q, uh, you could say quack. Yeah, so, it's like a quack. Uh, by the way, I, not, first of okay, all, I was just not, reading. Not, we're gonna get back on this subject. Right, but if you, if if you go to like a Lids or a Sports Authority or somewhere they sell yeah. sports memorabilia or sports sports jerseys, you can actually buy the mighty ducks authentic nhl yeah. jerseys yeah yeah they're 80 dollars. Yeah. anyways continue. well you know you know i continue. mean the, the, the ducks are a real well no this is like, like the, the mighty ducks, ducks like the actual jerseys from the movie can you get like yeah. the names of oh we got bolt yeah. oh no bolt right. is here <laughs> it's one of chad's hey. friends it's cool what's going on what's man that's pinned i cannot go that way Jacob Bolt is, Jacob Bolt is in the house. I'm gonna try to live add your mic in, um, and we'll see if that works. And once you so, get set up over there, just plug in, and we'll just go. I don't know it, it if that's possible It looks like I've been or not, granted but... a taco. Oh, and also me. Get me the taco fairy. Do you he have, got all of us tacos? Do you have oh, some snap. of that fire sauce dough? Oh snap! 
I've been low carb this week, but I might just Ace. eat a we, taco. My God. <laughs> we have found out that when Jacob Bolt goes to Taco Bell, he makes friends with the person in the drive thru window right. and gets as much fire Let sauce me tell as possible. You. So we were out with Jacob, and he was giving us a ride home because he's so gracious and awesome. He got us a large bag filled with hot sauce, like fire sauce. It was at least 200 packets, and it was amazing. And what's up, Jacob? How are you doing, Jacob? Yes. Sir. All right. So, Bolt, Bo, we're already live. Just yeah, we're already live, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Because, like, um, and everybody's yeah, asking surprisingly, about you. yeah. Everybody misses your face. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, Seriously. Let's, let's adjust the camera really let's quick so we can yeah, both yeah. in here. So, Ryan's are the brains. I'm just here to talk. You're... You're the beauty of the operation right here. Yeah, yeah everyone loves to look at your, everyone loves your pretty face. perfect Greek face, honestly. Which I don't know if you are Greek at all, but. No, I'm German. Okay, never mind. Hey, I mean, no, we can't speak of him. Sorry. No, no, it's good. Why? What? Oh, for Germans? Yeah. It's kind Angela of weird. Merkel? No. Uh, no, I think it was. <laughs> The guy that owns uh, 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 Volkswagen, I think, right? He Volkswagen? screwed up for everybody. Because he said that diesel uh, Volkswagens were actually more economically friendly when they really weren't. They were screwing with the tests. Yeah. He's worse than the H. Lur. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, hey, Jacob, just get you on the conversation we were kind of having right before you came in. Is your mic on? I don't know. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get his mic on okay. right now. We're oh yeah, let's see. Hold let's on. See if we can lo put him on live. This still says follower Ooh, when so it's good. not right. Yes. All right, hold yeah, on. Thank you. But yeah. Uh, I think I think if we can pull this off, then that's We're just a new level. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And it's. Plus, we don't even edit anymore, so this is no, going yeah, up. we've uh, it's been decided that these videos will no longer be edited, so we can't swear at all. Well, yeah, unless you're reading. Yeah. Yeah, no duck noise. Yeah. Quack. Every time you want to say that, just quack. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Or we can we need a button that you can hit and Are just. Quacking. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Exactly. What right. The quack is this what the quack, quack is this? A bleep. Quack a live that quacking bleep quacker. Yeah. Quacker. 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 I, I, just, I just felt like that Does was... Does that mean being a Quaker is like a bad thing? N unless you're Richard Nixon. Oh. Hey guys, In not that case. anyone's aware of this. Game Science Dice is taking pre-orders. Ga Game Science Dice. Dice. Game Science Dice. What's that? Some dice? It's, 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 it's a really nerdy conversation we're going to have probably next episode, but okay. right now, just to let everyone know, okay. Game Science Dice is now accepting pre-orders again. All right. Well, let's go back to the topic. Okay. Clusters right. with... Uh, We'll get right, 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 right. So, very pies. Well, and, and just so the yeah, the idea behind the clusters. I mean, obviously, obviously, you can't use these for gaming at the moment because it's the idea behind it is multi, is essentially multi-threading on a crazy scale, right? I mean, you're talking. I, I mean, there's. I mean, the simple Raspberry Pi clusters are. I think. I think like six to eight Raspberry Pis clustered together. Um, but I mean, there's people out there who built just crazy setups with them. And what they can be used good? for is things like data mining. I think so. Uh, uh, Let me hear. What? Go ahead. I thought that was uh, debunked where it's actually not as It's cost not as efficient. It's not as efficient. Or, like, the idea was that it would be more cost effective and efficient, but it ended up being where... It's actually more cost effective to spend the money on Correct. the graphics card. Yeah, no, but, but, but it so still works. That's specific. That's specifically for like, um, like, uh, uh, okay. cryptocurrency mining. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is data mining. But yeah, um, and, and now here's the thing though: a, a a cluster setup of Raspberry Pis has a way less initial cost. I say way less, not that much less. But, but it's a less initial yeah. cost. Didn't we determine that using Raspberry Pis to data mine specifically yeah. for crypto was really inefficient? It's and inefficient, you spent yes. way more money building this. Yeah. Did really we just whole... talk about well, this? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the initial set. Well, I just said that. Oh, oh, but the initial oh, set. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, we were communicating because of the. The initial setup is slightly less. Yeah. Wow. The initial setup is less. He was much in the taco. Okay, guys. I was really forgiven. Chad said that there, just to throw this in there, there is a Netflix documentary on the VW thing. No. The VW thing? Might yeah, have to I'm check that out. Is that like venereal um, disease? That's, no. 
I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I almost you can spell my diseases with a W. So <laughs> all the diseases <laughs> with a W. Wait. <laughs> if it's on your wiener, it's a VW. <laughs> <laughs> venereal uh, venereal wiener. Oh. No, uh, so, shameless, uh, or not even shameless, some go good stuff on Netflix right now. Okay, go ahead. Evil Geniuses, Staircase. If you are into the murder, murder porn where it's just murder documentaries Dirty and stuff buddy. like that, whoa, super good, super whoa. good. Whoa, whoa, that's a dark place of the internet, my guy. It's, it's not. Yeah. Netflix is a super guy. Guy. place. It's called Dirty Money, I think. Uh, the Volkswagen uh, screw up. I'm gonna have to watch that, man, because uh, that is very interesting how they screwed everyone over. Yeah, and uh, made everyone think they were being good yeah. hippies and they weren't. So, Did, so didn't. Um, didn't VW get a bunch of fines and backlash oh, on that? Yeah. Like, oh, didn't, like did they actually get theirs? Yeah, well, yeah, they, remember, they got it. Remember, this is Germany where they actually punish corporations for misdoing. We don't, we don't give them. Yeah, in Germany, I don't think they actually get bonuses for screwing everyone over. Um, like the housing market here. Yeah. Uh, or you know, mortgage crisis. But there's also documentary about that too. Uh, those are interesting. Yeah, that's yeah. It, Which, also, if you want to watch a really good movie right fail, now, but. Heat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Luke said that though. Heat? Yes. Heat? Who's in that? Val what Kilmer, that? Al Pacino. Heat. What is that on? Netflix. Streaming right now. Super on good. On Netflix. If you want to waste three hey, hours of your life it feel nice watching a pretty awesome that? movie, check it out. I see your uh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Val Kilmer. Many, it's many more. Burning it's an here, amazing right? heist film. Oh, should we? Can you feel the breeze? Check it out. Should we uh, cool. somehow take one of these cameras and show Ryan's brilliant um, hey, cooling Rob, device? Rob built Not a just lot Ryan, of it, but yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, no, but I, you know, I was definitely looking. I was looking at YouTube videos. I'll just look it up because there's a lot it, online. If you're well, pause. If you're actually looking for the movie, it's the first screenshot. Okay, this one. That one. The old heat, the not old like heat. Um, not the million other heats one. that came after. The heat, not the or heat. specific, not Pacific, Pacific heat. heat. Actually called Heat. It's streaming on That's Netflix, school. and it's a super good movie. Oh, Anyways, yeah, look at next, it. next. Nice. I'm gonna have to watch that, Chad. Uh, Evil Genius, Genius, is extremely good. Yeah, yeah that, that 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 one's creepy. Um, Chad Munden, check it out. I definitely agree with you, one thousand percent. I showed Winston that, about. and he Chad Munden's here. Spent the next like <laughs> two days binging yeah, you that. You got the camera set up? Not bad. Eh? So. Uh, yeah, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Chad Munden. I miss you. Seriously, That's all I have to say. Okay. I'll tell you a funny story about uh, this. I went to what I thought was Washington D.C., which it kind of was, but you know how it's not necessarily in anywhere. It's in like Virginia, right? Yeah. Didn't remember that. So I'm like in Washington. I Snapchatted something, and then Chad's wife was like, "Hey, you're in Virginia?" I was like, yeah, I think so. Come hang yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it was hilarious. Because I was like, oh, yeah, you guys are in Virginia. Like, I just thought, oh, you're up north somewhere. Yeah. So it's weird it's awesome. thinking about how some of the states, like, specifically on the East Coast, are so small. And you think, yeah. you think a state, you think about we just being a native Texan, you're just like, yeah. uh, a state must be big. I'm sure it's good for many him. miles. I mean, because you think, hopefully, uh, your you know, location was Space time's right? relative. No, yeah, because, you, you know, you'd be up north somewhere, and it's like you could drive around at five different states, and it's not a big deal. And so my vacation is a very good example of that. Yeah. Because I drove eight hours and never left Texas. Yeah. Yeah, because we live in the very north of Texas. It, it, it's crazy. It's to go from one end to the other. It's an insane amount of time. Yeah, like, we're talking, you know, from panhandle. From, from tip to tip. From tip to tip. Yeah. Now, oh, this, now, about? now this is not a session of docking. This is tip to tip in the state of Texas. <laughs> it's like yeah. twelve. It's like twelve, sixteen hours, right? I yeah, in between something there like that. Somewhere? Well, right. like, yeah, I think the, I think the good analogy is like we can drive from where we are. I think we can we can drive to Canada in the same amount of times it would take somebody from to drive from El Paso to uh, um, not Lafayette, but. New Orleans. I'm gonna look this up because I th I think I might be wrong about I that. I think you are wrong because I think from here to Canada is about 19 to 20 hours. Okay, really? Maybe. So, yeah. huh? How so long? Essentially, this is what we built, 
and maybe I'll, I'll like post a picture of it because it's funny. Um, but uh, instead of doing this, which uh, it, it's some dude on YouTube, I think it's like Do and How or something. Who knows? But uh, you basically just have a cheap cooler that you cut a hole in, uh, and then we use computer fans just so it's quiet on the cast and not super loud. But uh, so we actually have four computer fans here. And then just tons of ice, and it feels really nice because it it's is. like it's what 95 degrees. No, it's probably yeah. still like 85 degrees outside. So, um, the bit of cool air in this garage feels really nice. I'll be honest, it's survivable now because last week was even the week before that, it was really bad. <laughs> it's getting hot so, out here. So, I mean, it's, yeah, you think, you think it was bad for you? I was in a house, oh, yeah, you were that was built in the 19. 50s, I believe. Yeah. No central AC. Oh gosh. And it's 105 degrees during the day. <laughs> See, pain is relative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. So I came back. Screw that. In my my AC. Normally, I keep my AC is about 75, 76, yeah. something like that. I came back because I turned my AC up to about 80, just so it didn't like run crazy. But I didn't. But my cat was staying there, so I didn't want to like just turn it off completely and right. my cat die. Um, <laughs> so I I turned it to like 80. I came back to 80 degree. AC, like with, I was, I was, I was, I was comfortable. Like that was, that was cool to me at 80 degrees compared to the 105. That was outside. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, it was, it was painful. Uh, I, I realize how spoiled I am with AC. This is just, yeah. So not to interrupt. Oh, go ahead. So from tip to tip, it's about 14 to 15 hours, depending on where you're driving from and rest stops and everything. That's now so from rough. here, so. From here to where I've been to Canada, it's 22 hours, but I can imagine if you go to literally go straight north, it's probably going to be about 18 hours. Okay. Well, I was thinking it's a boot. Yeah. 22 boot. hours. I was thinking driving like boot. up to like Detroit and going across. Well, that's what Google said. So it said, yeah, how like how long does it take to drive across Texas? And said, what did depending Google tell you? Where you start from around the entire state of Texas, from one end to the other, regardless where you're going from, it's about 14 hours. Okay. Okay, so it is it is longer to get to Canada than it yeah. is for somebody to drive across the state of Texas from here. That's what I mean. From, yeah, yeah, from here from to here. Canada, yeah. Okay, but okay, not, okay. not saying that it's not a pain in the arse yeah. to drive from. I know he's hard to, not to get yeah, right? It's kind of difficult. I just, if I don't see my kids around, I'd feel or I'm at work. I feel like just cussing, you know. Just because you can. Exactly. Oh, oh thank you, for, thank the you for the cheers. Um, and definitely, Chad, when you come back to Texas, we should shoot some guns, go fishing. You know, the real all question. The American, said, all, all the American stuff. All the American stuff, stuff that. Yeah. We, I love yeah, that. Because you don't get enough American things in Virginia. Seriously. Are you, are you still in Virginia? Is, I is, yeah. is Virginia, yeah. like, counter American? Is it no, it's, I mean, it's, it's not counter, but our it's capital that, is you can't there get more American than Texas. Yeah, I, you really I, can't. America, I kind of you know. disagree with that. <laughs> like, hey, what do you define as American? What do anything you Texan, it? really. So clearly, you're the one opposing my statement. So what do you define as more American than Texas? I, you can allow me to define on. it. However I want to yeah, second. However you want. Okay. However you want. Okay. I want to second that Texan is equivalent to being American. Here's most why. American. Okay. Here's why. Because to be American is to be a melting pot, and we have influences from a lot of different regions. We're a large state, therefore we've got a lot of people here, therefore a wide range, not every group of individual, but... Uh, I I would say that as far as a melting pot is concerned, California beats us. Ca California, California, yes. California would 100% beat us. California is giant. But we've giant got better tax in, laws. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't argue with that. But, but California no has tax. better property values. Yeah, That's true. Which, which is also a lot of people in trailers, yeah. you know. <laughs> but no, yeah. Yeah, it's No, but as far as a melting pot, I mean, you know We're definitely up there. I mean yeah. but yeah, yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of uh I think big trucks, guns, yeah. guns. Like you so they you took know, our jobs. American, not like American, like American. Yeah. Yeah. See Chad you London know. brought up what about Alaska? I feel like Alaska's closer to Russian than anything else. Yeah. I it's have a, I, Canadian. I have a Canadian. crazy, crazy, crazy question for everybody. So I, yes. I generally like to do something where I end up in the show with like I ask just like a random question, 
So I'm going to ask my question now, and I'm going to leave it up to Jacob Bolt to ask the ending question for the end of the show today. So he's okay. going to be posting that. But my question is now. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. If you awesome. were given $10,000. Nope. And for the rest of your life, you had to go live somewhere remotely in the world. Where would you go live? And you just had that ten ten thousand dollars to get it? your supplies, and that's it. That's all you get. Like that's what? all you get. Ten thousand dollars. Dude, how long do I have to live there? How long? The rest, the, the rest of the my rest life? of your life. I mean, I figured that was an easy question to phrase. Ten thousand dollars. I wouldn't do it. This is not a you oh, have so the yeah, only other choice, choice okay I'll, I'll give you a second choice you shoot yourself you buy a gun and you kill yourself okay. <laughs> so that is the okay. only other choice this is a hypothetical question at least question. you'd be able to afford a really nice gun yeah right very very nice <laughs> yeah just yeah okay um yeah I don't know right, here to make it easier we'll bump it up to a hundred thousand dollars well I don't think the quantity of of money I is gonna matter. I feel like it kind of does. Yeah, like, shelter. Like, what are you gonna yeah. do with that money? You could easily build a fully functional Wait, cabin. You gonna hire a contractor to come oh, out there and how much? For you? Yeah, do you know what about plumbing or electrical? How much? A hundred thousand. If you had a hundred k, you could build a you fully functional, fully functional fully Okay, cabin. I'll tell you right cabin. now. My dad by himself. He was fifty years old, fifty plus, and basically by himself built an entire house fully self functioning. Mm-hmm. For about thirty-five grand. Yeah, that's, that's about, not bad. That's, my parents did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, yeah. ended up selling that and the property for way too much because people are crazy. <coughs> um, no. But I mean, it's, wait, they built it and then sold it? Well, only because someone offered a ridiculous amount. So, and they just bought yeah. another one. So yeah, Chad, well, they ended up buying. They ended up moving, but down there, so it didn't really make sense to yeah, have it all the, in Spain. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just gonna say Chad makes up a pretty good point here. Indirectly, are we talking U.S. dollars, USD? Yeah, you're, you're getting right. USD. Okay, because okay. okay. yeah, you, it could stretch right. a long way somewhere else, but that's, right? Yeah. But here, here's here's you said remotely. Yeah, I'm saying remotely, which like means you're, that you're alone. You're gonna be alone for ninety percent of your life, unless you actively seek out people. Then you, which you yeah. can't do. There is no restriction where you can't go find people. I, but I know you're exactly moving where to I the middle move. of nowhere, and this was just a question about not necessarily what you do, because I have a secondary story about this for my set, my answer. But Iceland. I want to hear everyone else's. Iceland. Iceland. That sounds like a terrible decision. No. Wow. For survivability. Wow. No. During the during the spring and summer, you can you can. I'm pretty, pretty sure you can Iceland pretty is more green than Greenland, right? It is far more green right. than Greenland. Uh, any of us have seen well, Mighty, I guess Mighty Ducks. Iceland's like super nice and everything. You think that it's it, the other way around? Yeah. Well, no, it's just. Their food is kind of gross, like fermented well, fish. fermented shark. <clears throat> yeah, that's all fish and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty but beautiful. Right imagine there. like waking up to that every morning. I mean, you get to see this. Yeah, my buddy. So actually, one of my buddies at work, whose name is Cheddar. Cheddar is that his real, real name? name? That's what I I named him Cheddar. Oh, okay. So, um, he actually went to Iceland, and they went. They were there for almost like two or three weeks or something. Yeah, they did. They ate everything you could that was like Iceland brand, so fermented shark and all this other stuff. And then they ordered Domino's one night. It was like forty dollars. Yeah, like for one pizza. Yeah, because <laughs> that is a expensive. So if pizza. you want to open a pizza joint, go to Iceland. You're gonna make yeah. a killing. Be your overhead. It'd be crazy. Oh, man. I, I mean, I guess if you just get stuff imported and just run in a low key shop. So Chad's like, you can you can get a yurt with a simple solar setup. The mountains. Oh, uh, see, Chad see, has yeah. a well thought out because hey, he really see, wants to do Chad's it. Really <laughs> Chad's about like this. me. Chad's Look like this. me. So whenever Look I this. answer this, I'm gonna say the same thing. I'll go ahead and answer now. So he's been on Instagram if, with too many. If, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go move into the middle. I'm gonna move into Wash. I'm gonna go to Washington. Yeah, somewhere up there, and just move in the middle of nowhere. If I had to buy the land, I would. But if I could just get off on just going and getting squatters' rights, just because I've been there for so long, yeah, build a log cabin and just coast. Or we all use solar panels, recycle my own water, build wells, stuff like that. I mean, you're essentially asking, what would you do if you were Henry David Thoreau, the dude who inspired? I was just asking where you would go. No, that's what I'm saying though. You like, said you said Iceland, Ryan. I don't know where he's going. Um, Denmark. Denmark. Okay. You know, no, hold on. You said remote. Yeah, yeah. You have to go in the middle of Denmark, so you're not going to be... All right. Um, this is where I'm going. Hold on. 
Canada. In the boreal yeah. forest. What are you gonna do with mating season? <gasps> Or Montana. Run here, the Montana bonus. would be nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna kill those moose. I'm gonna eat them. That's nine. Look, that's about a thousand pounds of food. I would see someone try to try to stop a bull moose in heat. Hey, I can. I mean, they... bull moose do not go into heat. <laughs> well, tracking someone that's in heat. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, tracking, all I'm saying tracking is tracking a female that's in heat. You're right. That's one kill, and they'd make some weird noises. That's one kill that'll feed you for a long time. Definitely if it's cold you. enough where you can keep it cold. So or you dry it, it or dry it. Yeah, yeah, it makes it jerky. That's an easy way to sustain life. So, uh... And me and Chad Bundin, we're actually going to share a yurt. Ooh, there I'll share are. a yurt with you any day, Chad. So, me, Chad, and Ryan are actually going to go live together. in a yurt. Yeah. Does that uh, mean we also have to... You haven't answered you know, yet, and I think I want you to come to the yurt. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, are we we're going to the yurt? Yurt? Where is the yurt located? Can I can I change my answer? What to the bullet in the brain? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna change rest it to that. Peace. Yeah. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Ryan. He's, he's not pieces. yurting with us. He's not yurting yeah. with us. Oh, man. And cheese. I'm just Mr. Gonna... Mr. Kennedy is now dead. I'm gonna eat lead. He Call is it eating day. lead. I feel like this is like a freaking me and the the Ryan Ducky. Man, the bolted did in the yurt. Chad, yes. it's because yes. uh, <laughs> it's taking it like five minutes for his chat to pop up, so he's typing a bunch of stuff. And this is like Oregon Trail, only uh, you don't die from dysentery, you die to a bullet in the head. You die, yeah. yeah, you like you start, you, you haven't even hit the yeah. start game <laughs> button, and like you already get the message that like Ryan Those Kennedy the old school died. Rules, baby, Three Stooges. It's uh, That's so funny. Pull the hole or pull the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking uh, of funny sayings like that, I was with my dad in Florida, and he bought a Jeep. It was a manual, and then did he just, just, stick just shift. buy a Jeep? Just to, yeah, just... Well, to to drive his boat around, and oh. then he started up. He uh, missed a gear, and then grinded a bit, and then he just goes, "Oh, you know what to say? If you can't find him, grind him." <laughs> and that is my new favorite saying. That's now, I drive, a, I drive a stick too. <laughs> And if you've ever grinded a gear, it's super awkward because you know you just fucked your gearbox or whatever just Whoa, slightly. Heft. Wow, yeah. We're not editing that. You, Sorry, just, Mom. you just messed up your gearbox slightly, so that's just my favorite saying right now. Is this, if you gearbox. can't find him, grind him. So this is the. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what is this? What are you doing? I'm here? drawing right now. So what are you drawing? This is something that Chad might only get, but the, the rule is pull the pole or hold a hole. If you're, if you're having like, to sleep in a bed, I don't like where this is going. And you're all too stubborn. Is this a bed? This yes, this is a bed. It looks like teeth from the top of you. Listen, this is not <laughs> sexual at all. Listen, this is rules for life. If you ever have to sleep with two straight men and you're also straight, um, nothing against gay so guys. The guy in front's laying on his back. The other two guys are butts facing in. Three Stooges yeah. look. Three Stooges did this all the time uh, because we were all too stubborn to fight over my bed. This is my bed. Pole, pole. Pole. <laughs> yep. Pole. 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 Not gay. Not, not You can sleep gay. with three dudes and it's not gay. You can even do four. Who made up this? Wait, room? why can't you all just uh, sleep on your why can't you just original? all sleep on your backs? Well yeah. yeah or, because or why yeah, can't you all sleep on your stomachs and or yeah. vice versa? Yeah. Come on. I don't know. I mean, that's I, I'm a side sleeper. I gotta sleep on my side. It's nice. But what if the middle guy's just getting farted on all night? It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of a. I'm kind of sorry. A good it's part of the game, you know? Oh, dude. That's a whole different thing. I don't know. What if someone's a really bad snorer? Well, honestly, just, I'm, it's looking, not perfect, I'm looking guys. at these yurts and I'm wondering how they keep the weeds out of their front yard. It's really some, making me upset. These are some nice yurts. <laughs> like, they're going, what are they buying? Scott's weed and feed every year? For the effing awesome. year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> year. Exactly. They keep it in there. You see that right there? Look at that. Like, there's a there's totally space to drop a lot, nice little lawnmower. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I guarantee you Ryan got pink eyes. Ryan got pink eyes, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I was usually in the middle of that. Or no, I don't... All right, I don't so know. let's move on. So anyway. What's that? So we, we already talked about that people across the world are now kicking the soccer ball. Yeah. Yes. America is going to host... The World we're, Soccer Ball Tournament. We're getting, we're getting closer to Mars. We're getting closer to Mars. We're finding that there may be aliens somewhere. Just, not, um, you just not where we thought they actually, were. Actually, technically, right now, Earth is getting further away from Mars. Well, it comes back, though. Come it come, it'll come back around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll come yeah. back. Don't, don't, don't worry, guys. Also, also nice little it's, ways it's, to use clusters. Yeah, nice hey, ways to use clusters. Right. We talked about uh, where you would go live if you were 
you know, I had some money and just had to go live by yourself. And mm-hmm. now yeah. what's next? What's next, what's, everybody? Do you, you want to go straight gaming or I got one more tech topic? Go if you want. We need to ask also what Jacob wants to talk about. Jacob, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man. Oh, no, that'll, it'll tie into my question later. But uh, I, I feel like I mentioned this before because I've been really excited about it recently. But the – do you – did I talk about CRISPR yet? No, I haven't, I haven't right talked now. about CRISPR. I'd like CRISPR. to say that I'm CRISPR every day because oh. I'm ultimately crispy. So I, 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 <laughs> a, someone actually did it, right? Someone uh, the, actually so used it, This is actually what it is. Uh, but right, genetic it, engineering, basically, right? Yes. And, uh, and on a side, side note, if you want to upset uh, Beard Ryan, Ryan Kennedy, call him Poopa. Um, how do you spell or this? Poppy. No, no, that's actually correct. That's the how that's really per- spelled right that. there is correct. Yeah. CRISPR. Oh, yeah. yeah, I spelled it wrong already, but yeah, I spelled you, you it with a like Y. CRISPR? Yeah, but I also wanted to spell poopa. How do you spell P O O P A? Yeah. Can I Google that? I mean, you probably could. What is it? I mean, that's just a term of endearment he, he, for Mr. Yeah, Ryan. he came up with a very nice I was nice calling, term I was endearment. calling someone, I called you Poppy. Yeah, I, I remember the whole Papa, conversation. I saw and he said, it. no, I'll kill you. And I said, Poppy. He said, no. And I said, Poopa. Yeah. And he said, okay. Poppy is almost worse. Hey, is this I mean, it doesn't call? matter. No. It's delicious. <laughs> should I still eat because it's from yes. Bolt? Yeah, you should eat. You should eat it. And I like how he it's gave me fire sauce, you mild sauce, and you hot sauce. Like, yeah. he, I'm like the one he who knew loves what the we fire, like. I love fire, though. He's, he's ready. You. He anticipated our a, needs. I, I actually fire. do prefer the Diablo sauce now. Do you? Really? Yeah, I do, yeah. Was that just because uh, you were like the game? Or what? Well, no, like my taste buds over the last four years of dating a Hispanic girl have have really I increased like what I consider like hot like caliente what i consider hot is 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 different now like seriously because uh i don't know you just your taste buds change i guess and and it's i don't know i got used to really spicy foods yeah it it happens slowly with me from my dad being addicted to spicy foods now i just read crusher pepper on everything way too much yeah, yeah pressure pressure pressure. Thai food, well, ten hot, whatever. Gotta love Thai food. Okay, jalapenos. So what is CRISPR? I'm re- Thai okay. food, uh, four star hot, four star. five alarm fire. Um, so it's ge- uh, genetic spicy tomato basil. Genetic fire editing, rice. genome well, editing. Yes. Um. It. Yes and no. It, it's. I'm gonna butcher this because this is a Go new. For it. This is a new thing for me, and I just recently kind of found out about it. Because I've always thought about the the idea of editing genes in mass yeah. for to, for the purpose of detail always really interesting, but uh, the the technology is very expensive and there's not a whole lot that you can do with it. Yeah. Presently. Talking about like Jurassic Park DNA. I, I, yeah, I'm talking like we're gonna we're gonna splice together a giant really cool dinosaur that's never existed before because that sounds like fun didn't they already do this a little bit with like a with a bioluminescent bacteria and a jellyfish yes Yes. but here's the thing though is that the traditionally uh research and development with genetics like work has been really 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 expensive and takes a really 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 long time yeah recently as in like within the last two years recently we've i guess unlocked a new method that cuts down the cost to bio any loot box yeah it's a bio loot box yes pretty much <laughs> it, it cuts down the cost from anywhere to 10 percent to one percent of what the original cost was which is pretty significant yeah it's yeah it's insane uh, yeah uh it's the CRISPR is an acronym for a, a <laughs> this cell. <is> so confusing <laughs> sorry Oh, so I didn't see you know, go. <laughs> she yeah, said he got a severe head injury back in October and now he loves incredibly spicy food. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. Makes it, you know, this ties into CRISPR because something got it, locked and yeah. knocked yeah. loose. Is there bit. also other oh, things no. you love now? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, no, I'm just teasing. I, that's probably, actually uh, pretty common yeah, yeah. thing yeah. where people have severe They'll head trauma. Like, get food. And not, well, not food. necessarily food, but just. Spice. Certain things will All happen, like things. personality uh, changes. But I well, think time I, you get more aggressive. But I think that has to do with if you damage your frontal lobe, your personality <laughs> changes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's but frontal so, lobe I'm, damage. I'm glad it's not your frontal lobe that's been dinged a little too much. So, yeah. But I mean, 
Good luck. Good luck. Uh, like, I think, <laughs> I think that's all I say. Use on. those magnets or you know, find a crisper. I'm gonna uh, take doctor. a really big guess here. You subscribe to did crisper you get hit in the back faces. of the head? Yeah, did you get hit in the back? Where did you get hit in the head? The spicy food is right there. Yeah, it's point, specifically point on the Darth Vader doll where it hurts. Yeah. No, because I think I think your taste and sight where did and you all touch your, your high ground. Like most of your senses are located in your like uh, medulla. Which is sort of in the back of your you head. You just next made that up. That's from Aladdin. Hey, Medulla Oblum Goddess from the Water <laughs> Boy. It is. It's not right. even a real word. It, it, it's actually, yeah, it is. It's a part of your brain. So, all right, it's a part of your brain that connects to your spinal cord. So, but yeah, not only. Is, I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Water is better. Uh, okay. CRISPR is now cheaper and quicker. It, you you know, know, it that just, sounds like a grinder for a bunch of nerds, though. Let's oh be my honest. god, you're right. <laughs> like a, that's amazing. A grinder well, no, account no, for this is okay. A this is why it's no, just oh, a bunch of nerds trying okay, to get good, together good, good. To, <laughs> to make science. Let let him. Let, okay. You, you want to know why that's super relevant? Because how, <laughs> how, how how CRISPR works is that it's it's just a in bacteria. It's uh, they're a method for fighting against viruses because it constantly scans for very specific sets of gene, the genetic yeah, okay. DNA algorithms to uh, eliminate viruses from their own system. Okay. And it's really accurate. It's really, really good at finding what it's looking for. Yeah. So you can modify that particular part of a bacterial life form and then use it to search for very specific so sets of DNA. So you are 100% right. So essentially... It's, it's swiping right. right. It swipes right. Oh my on god! Oh, you exactly. made a great the very specific. Yeah. No, that seems hard. Exactly. About it. It's gonna find you whatever you want. Smart. And, and you got a lot of pictures. This guy is smart. Mm. Dude, that's awesome. This is a brilliant app idea. I must go home and work on this. Severe concussion. But, throw um, brain. Okay. Ooh. Well, Sorry, man. That's fractured yeah. Fractured his orbital and his Ooh. left eye. Yeah. yeah. Throughout his. Sorry, okay. see. Ooh, that's dude. That's not good. Hey, so, man, all I have to say about bikes because I've been doing some weird YouTube and other research Sell is that thing that they Sell need it. people need Get to be more of aware of lane splitting and it needs to be legal. No, 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 lane splitting should be illegal. No, no, no. If you look up the, if you, it actually causes less accidents for biker for 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 if you're trying if your goal is to protect cycle motorcyclists build an it, hov lane for specific motorcycles well no, no, there's there's like i said they've done i mean there's there's like a lot of a lot of reasoning behind allowing lane here's splitting. my counterpoint to what you're saying okay so lane I splitting sorry <laughs> let me get off a topic no, you're fine. lane splitting is inherently safer you're right uh, yes but you cannot enforce a speed on someone that's lane splitting. Yeah, it's there's difficult. No one yeah. to, there's no. It's more. It's not a, difficult. It's it's, well, it's yeah. theoretically yeah. impossible to enforce yeah. a speed limit on someone lane splitting. Right. But it also and gives until they like crash that. and then hurt themselves, well, then you give them a ticket. Well, for speed. what it does is it kind of puts the responsibility of maintaining speed on the the motorcyclist. So in other words, rather than I'm, I'm trying to say, I'm not going to say cyclist. Cyclist well, is but not. But this exists in California. Is it motorcy- so yeah, in California, so lane splitting is lane splitting is completely illegal in California. I think that one's more like any well, vehicle though. Motorist applies any vehicle. Yeah. Biker, biker. I, I, I got, but that applies. So in the, you know let me just I mean? say the yeah, funniest yeah, whatever, YouTube videos we're, we're, that I watch are lane splitters in California speeding and crashing. Oh, Chad's asking Seed if they got any, like. Any fish, oil, DHA, DHA, EPA. EPAs? Any severe cuts oh, like that, man, it's going to yeah. take a lot. Well, I mean, most of those are are, um, are intended to, to, to help with brain development, if I'm mm-hmm. understanding that correctly. Like, Right. But anyways, there's, there's even mushrooms. Uh, like I believe it's uh, lion's heart. Lion's? Yeah. Uh, not lion's heart. That's probably from some kid's show. Lion's <laughs> something is... Lion's yeah. mane is one of the most important. But okay, back on track. Yeah, well, take us through CRISPR because well, I know that. Well, really, it's it's. He was he was right, right? Well, he. I mean, yeah. it's it's a really great connection on it, like intentional or not. Okay. It's a really great connection okay. to the topic. But um, the really exciting thing is that because it's faster and cheaper uh, now, theoretically, anyone with a little bit of know-how in like uh, microbiology and genetics and access to a lab can start doing research towards uh genetics which yeah. might see a, like a huge explosion in uh you know genetic engineering projects yeah. uh, which has already uh, there have been a couple clinical trials for using uh crispr me- crispr born methods to find and eliminate hard 
diseases like mm. HIV yeah. right. and possibly cancer. Like we might be, yeah. we might see the cure to cancer in our lifetime. That would That's be awesome. kind of a big deal. It's a I, huge, huge yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think with stem cell research and CRISPR, I mean, ooh, like we're, li we're at the point where things are getting scary yeah, like to where to happen, we can though. eliminate everything. It needs to happen. Well, like, cause this, if I have this in my brain correctly, I mean, literally they're, they're able to figure out if you are prone to having this problem, they can inject this and get rid of that problem before yeah. it becomes well, a problem. Well, correct? That, we already do that, though. Well, right. Well, you got to a certain extent. Let's just remember where you live. You live in America. Yes. Well, okay. Well, now, and, and I see where you're going with that. Mm -hmm. And well, it and it's and it's you're you're talking about the Christian right. No, 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 no. no. So I'm saying, talking about having the capability to fix a problem that's there. Weighing out, out the cost to fix the problem, problem in comparison with how much late stage money capitalism. is going to be made. Yeah, yeah this is, yeah. This is yeah. Essentially, yeah. essentially like, yeah. like so, so. Let me just give you an example, a, a perfect example of this. Um, so yeah. my wife has chronic tonsil stones. Her her tonsils are swollen infinitely amount more than anyone else I've ever met. No doctor will give her a recommendation or do surgery covered under insurance to remove her tonsils and literally f get rid of her illnesses that she constantly has caused by that, which is chronic, like strep throat, bronchitis, stuff like that. Yeah. Tonsil stones in itself, which is just a bacteria infestation you can't get rid of unless you literally yeah. remove the tonsils. They won't recommend it or recommend that insurance covers it unless she has strep throat five times in one year. She doesn't get strep throat. That's crazy. So you're talking about so this is great that this is there. Right, but they're gonna put so many the, walls. Is, is, and, is the late hurdles. stage capitalism gonna stop people from benefiting from? Because she should. Like I've told her, we have the money now. Let's get your tonsils taken out yeah. and just eat the cost because it would make her so much better. But it's thousands of dollars right. for her to have a surgery cool. and then recovery and inpatient surgery. It's just. It's, that's that's and the only reason why because she's not because she's well, not a kid. You're saying it's gonna get Magic Johnson. And, and I, yeah, I yeah. Want, it will be. Yeah, yeah. because it, this is a perfect example. Yeah. Well, I do want to. We can fix that. I do want to pull out a ray of hope that that Jacob. I think you said, but we might have gleaned over, and that is that it's 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 now more accessible for for labs to research this. So maybe we'll have a scenario in which, and this is me, and I'm not the biggest fan of like capital, like just sheer unadulterated capitalism, but in the case of like the, the insulin prices skyrocketing, and I mean, this is kind of where we're going with this is that, you know, the, the medications will typically, will, will get in, the price, the, the price for consumers will typically get increased to an insane amount yeah so that the pharmaceutical companies can make a lot of money and what i think jacob was saying is that now that it's become more available or cheaper for for uh labs to research this maybe we'll have a case in which you know there will be these outliers happen. who will who will it won't happen well you want to know why i'm saying this won't happen but let me just i'm explain. trying to give hope here yeah, yeah, i'm saying, I'm saying you're gonna be optimistic <laughs> but let's just put it this way yeah. EpiPens are roughly 300 to 400 dollars yeah, and, they, and they cost about 15 to 30 dollars to produce well yeah didn't somebody you know, come up with a way to that's been around you know what that's we're gonna been need yeah. you know what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a steve jobs or uh an elon musk or uh, but in the medical someone, field yeah, yeah but someone did just I do agree. it and so literally yes yeah, so just here in 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 the with the goodness of their heart want to actually make medical everything affordable and start creating little places yeah. where they sell things, skipping insurance and making things affordable. I agree. Yeah. Which that, I that agree. like the, okay, what has everything been going towards? Cutting out the middlemen because I mean, when you get into certain businesses, we're about we, to get into a huge politics thing. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Because who be lobbies? Who lobbies for the politicians? And who lobbies I, for the FDA? And yeah. who wants? Who literally controls whether machine. or not your no. product can be bought? Yeah, I've said it. All. I'm, well, I'm, I'm just trying to be. I mean, I'm hopeful. No, I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful I'm, too. I'm, I'm here too. To I'm going to just put I'm in my two cents. Yes. I just want to put in my two cents. I'm actually as much hope as I want to have. It's being there crushed. Is, yeah. Well, it's uh, specifically with cancer groups like with like curing cancer groups yeah uh, the, the, the big one that comes to my mind is uh agdq yep. does, does everyone know mm. agdq not yeah, terribly uh, familiar also, honestly uh, it, it's a yearly uh it's a yearly twitch stream 
that lasts like a week, like two weeks. It's a really long time, and they just bring in all of these speedrunners. It's awesome games done yep. quick, and they run it every single year, okay. and they make hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations okay. every single year. Yep. Cancer goes away. Guess what goes away? AGDQ. Like you're you you'll probably still see it run. Yeah. But it will not well, get the the the, the donation support, yeah. support like it has let in me, the past. Let me just say though, there is always another cancer, and I don't mean yeah. that to say that there's. You just mean that there's always there's always another thing for us uh, to there's find. Always, behind. There's always yeah, something I mean, else we can do. A disaster. There's always this, disasters, that. homelessness, hunger. Right, yeah, there's yeah, tons yeah. of problems. HIV, to fix, yeah, there's yeah. there's an endless supply of problems that you can promote for stuff like Which this. Which is yeah. true, but I don't think. I, well, as of right now, maybe I'm short sighted. Well, but the, it's not going to have the same emotional stigma right. and pool that cancer does. Well, I think everybody has a family member who's either. Died of cancer or had, had cancer, cancer, or, cancer or, or survived right. cancer I mean, right. or uh, donations to fight like uh, heart disease. What's well, the number one killer in America? Heart disease. Heart disease. Is. Yeah, and it's self. It's I don't want to say it's like largely it. Largely it's largely it's largely yeah. self inflicted, but it's also just one of those things. Like, what do they classify old age as? Heart disease. Your yeah, heart, most heart times failure. heart failure. Generally. Like what do they count? Like what do they consider a drug overdose? Usually, heart disease or yeah. your heart messes up and you go into well, cardiac arrest so, because of drugs. So right. hey, there's just so many things lumped into that. Yeah. I'm saying like there's that too. There's so many different I, things I think you I would, can fight too. I would care a little bit less if uh, if this thing was around though, and like I'm sure they'd be still around in some way. I mean, how many of you? Know I, that I think I'd rather cure can can Jake, cancer though. though, right? What's up? <laughs> I said I think I'd rather cure cancer than have AG. DQ, well, right? it, yeah. their, their whole shtick is that like, hey, they're they're a cancer fighting entity, yeah. right? And that they they started they, they basically started in a basement. Right. They yeah. started in a basement, and now they're one of the biggest things on like Twitch, if not the internet. Well, that's awesome. Let me tell you, this kind of thing will always exist, no matter what the problem is, even if cancer goes away. So I hear you, but I also want to say we need to get rid of cancer. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, but, I, yeah. I think we're all pro, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all agree that we are pro cancer going away. <laughs> <laughs> pro cancer. Pause. Hold on, I'm gonna take that part and just cut it out. Yeah, cut pro out. cancer. Yeah, by the way, stop there. Does anyone have a cigarette? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Just it's just a, sponsored you by sponsored by Marlboro <laughs> cigarettes. It's just really the question so of good, how long is it gonna take? Yeah, right. I, I pretty much like uh, without d d d d diving any deep into the discussion of like yeah man government and corporations the bad right, yeah right because we can talk about that i'm just really excited about it. crispr and i found a book on genetic engineering and oh, nice. hey guys swipe right swipe right swipe on right. engineering disciple awesome. yeah oh, yes. Yes. Dude, that was great that's yeah. perfect perfect awesome man and, yeah i like that uh, idea it's, it's it. been uh it's been a good reading, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh someone recently like was on death's door, had some disease for a long time, and started doing CRISPR in America. It was like one of the first trials in America that was passed. So. Yeah, it, it, we have. I think we talked about that China also is, yeah, we, a little bit ago. We where, mentioned it. Uh, the right for experimental. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, but that's only it's uh, it's exclusive if you're terminal. Right. I believe yeah. so. Yeah, which so is a sure step in the right was. direction. Yeah, and uh, I think that in tandem with. The, the recent developments in genetic engineering, we could see some really interesting stuff. See, It'd be it, nice. This definitely reminds me of a lot of uh, science fiction stories and or movies that I've seen to where there's a machine that will fix everything, but yet only the wealthy and, right. you know, wealthy, high-class citizens have access to you it. You mean like how it is right now? <laughs> well, no, <and> that's <laughs> sort of got him, I mean, but, you know. Got like him. with health insurance? Like, I can't remember. Got him, Dad. Yeah, yeah. sort of. But, so, yeah. um... I mean, even the highest class health insurance. Can really we just, help. you know, let's just I give mean, everybody like dental. a John McCain. Can we dental. get like social dental brain, insurance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You didn't have a heartbeat Please. for years. <laughs> well, I mean, but he has yeah. brain tumor. Yeah. That would be so, helpful. No, yeah, like, can, a if, if a politician runs on socializing just dental, insurance, dental insurance, I will insurance. vote that man. I will Honestly, vote that man. There has man, to be dental dirty... insurance is the cheapest one of all three of them. Well, I guess it's very cheap. No, but yeah. here's the thing. Dental does I mean, it doesn't, the premiums cost more than what you're Well, and, and, yeah. So I want to get into it. I just want to add to this. So for those of you, I don't know who's watching that really is just now getting into the dental insurance field. So 
if you actually have to have dental work done, your insurance is not going to really do no. so much. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, 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 let me just add. Let me just add. Yeah. The important thing that we, I want to clarify here. Your dental insurance is not going to cover the anesthesiologist when you have your wisdom teeth taken out, which See? is your most expensive cost, which is usually yeah. a check handed to the anesthesiologist up front with a sign waiver. So kids, if if they the accidentally streets, killed you, find your okay. own. If, I su- if I could suggest any sort right. of health Don't, insurance no. sort of program to get into, that's a flexible spending account. HSAs and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They're... If you need it, it's there, uh, but you're not paying for something you're not using. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, at the end of the year, you probably are putting more money in. If you're not getting, you're not paying any health care. Yeah, I mean, you're still paying in probably more than you're using. But at least with a flexible spending account, you're not, you're not. Are we really talking about? I guess we're in health care. I just thought about how much it costs, and I'm just thinking about like we could debate on my PPO versus your HSA. I'm going to come out ahead. I think I think getting. I don't like the politics around it. It's just dirty and I'd like to say disgusting. We're all adults now. Yeah, yeah. There's some adult talk. It's like what we hear grandparents talk about and stuff. Like boring, man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it makes me sad because this is what I talk about every day. It's like, yeah. When I, I come home from work, age, and I'm we like, didn't have I'm like, did you see how much our effing insurance costs? Yeah, it's like three hundred dollars a paycheck. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I, yeah, I, I, I kind of want to kill myself. Oh my gosh! The whole on the military didn't knock you out for that. Wait, what? I didn't get knocked yeah, out no. for my four wisdom teeth. No, they would knock fun. you out for that. That's hilarious. Yeah, I man. think uh, yeah, Caitlin. I didn't either. Caitlin yeah. wasn't under. Yeah, now, just a I, I just want to give a tip. No, yeah, I feel like there was you. screaming. No, no mine's just on a wisdom teeth thing. Yeah, yeah, mine's on that too. Right. Look, someone I work with had their wisdom teeth taken out, and they were complaining about how they were gone for a couple weeks after they did it. Yeah, they were complaining about how they got dry sockets. Look, yeah, that's your uh, fault. It's your fault. Because one, whenever she told me she got her wisdom teeth taken out, she was drinking out of a straw. Don't drink out of straws. Don't smoke. Don't do anything that has to involve like a suction type yeah. thing out of your mouth. Just don't do it. And honestly, keep your mouth clean. You know what's gross? You know what's yeah. gross? Cell phone screens. But you know what's also gross? Your effing mouth. Yeah, it's more clean disgusting. Clean your ish. Yeah. And don't <laughs> suck down sodas through a straw. <laughs> Drink so, some Listerine and clean yourself clean. Don't yeah. get dry sockets because it was your fault. And just a small thing on the wisdom teeth thing. I wasn't supposed to be knocked out during my wisdom teeth removal. They gave me the local anesthetic mm-hmm. and I fell asleep waiting for them to come back. And I woke up. No, literally, they did not That's give awesome. me any drugs to knock me out. They yeah. gave me a local anesthetic. They went away. They're like, oh, it'll take you know five minutes or whatever. And I sleep. I can sleep anywhere. I don't know if I'm a narcoleptic oh, or you. what. But I can sleep anywhere. I'm jealous. I don't think I'm an archelectic. I've looked it up. I don't meet any of the symptoms. Um, except for the falling asleep anywhere thing. But I just fell asleep and then I woke up and they were done. And uh, I was like great. I was like, Did you what y'all get me to knock me out? Like, we didn't give you anything. You just fell asleep. Like, All right. So they said, All right, we'll that means they gave you the gas. They gave you some type of gas. They must have like I don't remember yeah. them giving me gas. If they gave to me while I was asleep. That's, they probably did. Yeah, they probably did. Because I mean, I mean, laughing gas. I mean, it doesn't put you to sleep. And honestly, I remember when I was a kid and I got laughing gas instead of shots. Yeah, they just put it on my face for like they just had me breathe it for ten minutes. Yeah, started working. Then an hour in, they just said, "Okay, breathe some more of this," and then did it. And then yeah, it was done. Yeah, but what's yeah. done is done. What's done is done. All right. Nice. Is it time to move into gaming? Are we going to talk about some the health insurance? Yeah, yeah, I would really like to. Here we go. One quick thing before gaming. Uh, the Boring Company, which is another Elon Musk project. The what? The, the Boring, boring Company. company. This They're is building, the same company that mailed like, flamethrowers. They're building new, faster, basically, drills to, to bore under, uh, I think it's LA first. Oh, oh to do to uh, new transportation okay. systems. They're skids, basically. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, I dig that. it. So the cost came out. Uh, he recently made an announcement. So apparently, New York subway uh, was 2.5 billion per mile. That's um, crazy. This project that's going to be—I don't know how—it's pretty giant. A superstation. Uh, I don't know how far it actually goes, but how about, how, I would say, how about the government subsidize this 
rather than toll roads because i am tired of toll roads uh, well he did i mean they actually well, did. usually toll roads aren't sub well, yeah, i they guess are. they are yeah yeah but, i mean they they're heavily not, subsidized not really, uh, in texas even oh yeah really? i wouldn't be surprised oh, yeah. i wouldn't be surprised if he did do it he would get to it. Probably will get some government order. funding for this because he did it for Tesla and yeah. for uh, Solar City. So I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you oh, know it'll come down. And I just want to on quick thing on toll roads. Uh, you, anytime you see a toll road in Texas, technically it's not supposed to be a toll road forever. The idea behind a toll road in Texas, at least based on the legislation, is supposed to be that they collect a toll as until they recoup the cost of making the road. Essentially, oh. they they work on a they work on a system of. We, we build the road and maintain the road until we recoup the cost, and then we hand that road over to the state. Well, as of yet, no toll road in Texas has been handed back over to the state because the toll companies continue to inflate the cost of maintenance. So it's always it's always a step. While, this is, by the way, while they're taking a profit from it. So they can work their own profits into maintenance costs so they can constantly inflate the price and constantly keep your road I toll think, road. There's not, there's no time limit on this. There, it's an infinite time limit. So they can do this as long as they want. Huh. So yeah. Uh, long term, it could be a problem. But you know, someone might eventually step in, well, and be like, hey. Well, no, it's time like, to like hand them over. Yeah, and I say in the short term, toll roads sound like a good idea because you can create a toll road with very little uh, government input, but then. Uh, and then you know a company can assume the cost and recoup their cost and then eventually turn the road over But see it doesn't it doesn't actually work that way. I think it's kind of cash 22 and something like that uh, It what well, here in Texas anyway mm -hmm. We kind of have a pretty large surface area. Yeah, and having solid infrastructure is really is important. important to yes. us Especially considering that we do a lot of you know shipping by freight, but you can only use that infrastructure if you can afford it true uh, <clears throat> but you can only build that infrastructure if you can also afford it. True. Yeah. Right, but you would assume that at some point, like, some of these got fully paid for. <laughs> you know. Well, well yeah. And somebody's making idea. some money off the top somewhere. Which is, eh. I mean, because, yeah. 30 uh, bucks for Virginia? Virginia no, York. that's no joke, because I was down there, and, and they still, you know what's weird is? it's It might be 30 bucks, or, you know, you hit these tolls, and there's still people working in booths. I thought that was the weirdest thing I had ever seen in my life. I was like, you're paying someone to what sit in a booth and collect money still. Backwards. Yeah. In Virginia. What? Yeah. No. What? Road. So, oh. is this? By the way, if you take I-35 through Kansas, you go through Wichita, yeah. uh, there's a toll to go on I-35. Technically, yeah. it's an interstate highway, but this one little section is a toll. There's a toll. And yes, you have people sitting in a booth, sitting in a booth, taking money. I feel like that oh, was and, an overnight operation set well, up by some like. Oh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> it, 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 you okay. say that, but it's really not. Yeah, because and, you, fit, you. I can speak from experience going to Michigan. Yeah, there is just a point where you have to pay a toll. Yeah. Well, and, just, and speaking of people sitting in booths, that's really not that out in Texas either. If you go to Houston, all of their toll booths, they do have automatic pay toll booths but there also are like if you want to pay in cash at a toll booth because the only way to go through a toll in Houston is either you have a toll tag or you have to pay in cash yeah there's, there's no, no pay mail. by mail huh. so yeah you you can get a ticket for going through the wrong lane oh really? yeah it's not like a pay by mail thing so yeah in 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 Houston if you're going to pay in cash uh you have to go through the man toll booths it's yeah. nuts and, and honestly it's really a pain in the butt if you're if you're driving through at night, because that actually happened to me where I had to drive through in Houston at night. And, and you run through a toll, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any cash, so it's like, what did I do? Just, hey, you know, I, I just blew through it. Hey, yeah. that's hey, the only thing I could hey guys, do. I could just blow through it. You know what roads are really good for? What? Segways. Oh. Hey, and so, like, gaming for house. Dad joke. Oh, yeah. Dad joke. <laughs> right. It's 12.26 so anyway. in the morning, and we have a dad joke. We're segwaying oh, in the Let me hike my pants up. It's Father's yeah. Day on Sunday, yeah, so I'm, I'm just there. getting it's ready. Father's Day. And who's winning on Father's Day? That's all you guys watching. Wait, that's the actually E3. not me. Was oh, yeah, that's right. Who actually, E3. Who actually won Which E3? Which dad won I E3? Wanna, I want to see in the chat who you think won E3, and I'm going to I'm gonna counterpoint hey. whatever your decision hey. is just by a few things. Uh, did you watch baby. the E3 at all? Yeah, did, I did. 
Did you watch the Nintendo? Please? Yeah, I watched. I, okay, so look, I watched E3 for every console I own. Hey, he looks real. And so the only one I missed was PlayStation because I don't own a PlayStation. Well, screw that. I mean, obviously PlayStation didn't win. But are you hyped for Smash Ultimate? Am oh, I let me just say, yeah. there are two hundred dollars I'm spending this year, and that two hundred dollars is going to Super Smash, a tennis, Mario Party. And that's that's a hundred that's a hundred that's a hundred and eighty of it, and then I'm gonna break two hundred and go for the new Pokemon game coming out this year too. I think I think uh, I think you think Nintendo and the, clearly and took I, I have sixty yeah. I have sixty dollars for a game outside of Nintendo, and that's going to Fallout seventy six, and I'm gonna wait on Red Dead. So I'm gonna wait. I'm okay. gonna get in on Fallout seventy six on the hype train and wait on Red Dead. Talking Fallout. about Fallout on Fallout seventy six. That was a terrible pun. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Okay, You're so, funny. so no, no, no. I, I mean, I, I mean, I've, I've, I've read a lot. I, I, I didn't watch. We're gonna play some. Nintendo. I didn't watch yes. any of E3. It was super good. I hate listening to corporations talk about their products. And I mean, anyways, I do it for the trailers, man. But yeah, no, the trailers are cool. So I did watch a lot of trailers, and then, and then so Fallout seventy six is going to be online, right? Yeah. yeah, which is upsetting a lot of hardcore. Hold up. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Hold no, up. no, 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 I'm not saying no, everybody. No, no. Let, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you finish. But I want finish. To, I, that's exactly the point I want to talk about because it's it's splitting the player base, and I want to talk about that. Yeah, and and like, look, I I personally, I I think that the future of gaming, as far as RPGs and things like that go, at least, is online. Yes, I think that that's where the future lies for a lot of that stuff. I, I don't want to argue. I don't. I'm not going to argue that point. But you do. You do. You are hurting your player base when you create a game that requires online. Here's the thing, team, man. I know. I know. Internet connections are pretty good now. Like if you don't have a stable internet connection, except in Virginia and North Carolina. Well then, you know what? There's a solution <laughs> for that. You move out of uh, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 so Real simple. I, I hear your point. Get out of there. Like, oh, so, so whenever I first heard Soldier Seventy Six was going to be an MMO, I went through like the five stages of, of grief, and it was honestly really quickly because I thought about it. Like first, first and foremost, the first thing I thought about was okay, now I have to play this game Ooh. and have an online connection when I'm playing this game. Which makes me so mad whenever I log into my Xbox Real. and my internet's down. I want to bring up a. I want to respond to this quote or the the, the comment real quick about from the Chad Battle Monday. Royale. Um, Do you want to talk about Call Battle, of Duty? There have not been a new. There's not been a new Battle Royale game announced in the last 24 hours. Call of Duty. So that's not in the last 24 hours. That was announced a couple days ago. Oh well, yeah. I'm just saying. In the last 24 hours, there's been no Battle Royale still game. a bandwagon being hopped on. Bandwagon. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, mean, I agree. Mean, the bandwagon's full on hype. I don't. I guess. Um, so if you if you want to talk about actual news, we can talk well, about it. But if you want to talk about fake news, where Battle Royale is not the hype train. Fake news, baby. We can well, talk about it. But Battle Royale is definitely the hype train right now, and every every gaming company and their grandma is making a Battle Royale. You're talking about. You're talking about Battlefield. Now, now is this the Call most? Call of Duty, Overwatch, Paladins. Wait, Overwatch and, is making a battle royale. And Destiny is rumored to have some type of battle royale type you know, mode coming. You, you know what I really love? My favorite part. So every. Oh, go yeah, ahead. go no, you go ahead. You go no, ahead. My I'm about favorite to get frustrated part about all these games <laughs> hopping on the battle royale bandwagon. Yeah. Is that every single game? Like it's added to this market will further dilute this market yeah. and decrease the quality of all of the games oh, on yeah. the market because well, it decreases the number of players to pull from. Well, if you have, let, uh, Fortnite will probably do okay. Like let's let's be honest, Fortnite will do okay. Fortnite, PUBG, be fine. But well, PUBG's all of these dying. other let's games, if they do not have a large enough community to sustain like their player base, because you know if you're dealing with you know hundred man matches. It's yeah. not gonna work. Like yeah. it, it'll have plenty of players on release, and then you know two weeks later you can't. You're waiting an hour, like thirty minutes, just to start a game. Right. Yeah. No. I, I so I definitely hear what you're saying. Like saturation is gonna be the killer of Fortnite's or battle uh, royale Fortnite. game mode. <laughs> just call it Fortnite so, from now on. FT. So it's like a. I want to make out one distinction. So you want to make out. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to make out with you, Ryan. But um, thanks. So, what was there before before the battle royale? Moments? You were like, you were let, just, let's no, just no, explain. No, no, no. Like, if you had a first person shooter game, what did you have before battle royale to keep you occupied? Well, you had. Well, no, and so that yeah, first person shooters, right? Well, yeah, first person shooters that either have a team deathmatch mode or uh, objective modes, or you know, like Counter Strike, where you gotta plant a bomb, you have capture the flag. I mean, there are plenty of other game modes that first person shooters can can pull from, right? And so, so, so my, my point, point is that is it necessarily that you're gonna run into saturation? Because let's be honest, um, there have been hundreds and hundreds of record breaking like first person shooter games to come out like like before be- battle royale before battle royale thing. even existed and the whole idea of a saturated market never came into play like i think it's not necessarily that it's a saturated market and then people are worried about play- like splitting a player base it's just reusing an idea and spitting it out and not making it new in any type of way like the reason why yeah the reason why i think fortnite is so successful right now is because it's a it's a variation of the game that you're not seeing in the PUBG, which is their original popular battle royale game Hmm. and so i don't i don't think you have to worry about saturation what i think you have to worry about the lack of innovation the lack of innovation yeah perfectly said yeah okay that's exactly that's that's, that's completely fair yeah they're just gonna beat a dead horse basically and and that's exactly why call of duty lost beat off a dead horse that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say (laughs) but i want to get back i want to so i want to get back to fallout the reason why i fall out so you're playing a game are you playing a game i'm playing clash royale i can't believe you're playing clash royale right now clash royale is my shiz I just joined a new clan. Uh, I don't care. We're doing super good. It's amazing. Trash Clash Royale <laughs> sucks. I don't care. Well, so does your mom. But that's oh, all I'm just saying. Oh, this. Not a I, I, I just want to say. Father. Don't worry, he'll apologize okay. for that later. If if his mom is listening, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sherry. <laughs> Why do you gotta say my mom's name? <laughs> it's because your mom is the nicest woman I've ever met in my life, and my mom is a very sweet lady. Like <laughs> honestly, I, I like I, I know she tried to disown me as your friend at one point, but no, I, she didn't. That was my dad. Okay, it's your dad. Gosh dang it! Now, no, no, no. now, now they're like, oh, how's Trenton doing? Like, I, if, yeah. there, if there is one person that I haven't seen that's an older person that I could give a hug, it's your mom. Yeah. Just because of how sweet of a woman she is. She's a very nice woman. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, so... Ah, Chad's talking about COD. I don't want to talk about COD right now. We're gonna get on COD. We're gonna get on the COD in a minute, but Fallout 76. So the initial uh, reception is you're splitting the player base. I get it. People don't want to be online only with a game. That's a complaint with every type of game, but that's been around forever. Look, you have internet connection. Stop being so stingy with your internet. Well, you're I always going to be online, online. And if you're not online, you're calling your cable company because well, something's it, wrong. Yeah, you're going to be online 100% I, of the time anyways. Who cares? Even furthermore, I don't find myself enjoying single-player experiences yeah, exactly. anywhere near as much as I used to. It, that, yeah, it, that may be true, the, I'll be honest with you. I, I mean, like, I'll, I'd rather play a game of League of Legends, which makes me really, really angry sometimes, yeah. than I would play... Like a, a sub tier run of the mill single player experience. Yeah. Like, if I don't have someone on the other side to talk to and to like yeah. strategize with and just to like have a random encounter with, because anything could wind up happening. Like, yeah. Like, I, I want to kind of bring Sea of Thieves into this. Like, Sea of Thieves got hit hard by a lot of people saying there's no content. And to be fair, the content is kind of sparse. But yeah. the real beauty and content comes from the interaction yeah. of other players. And if you have a well-crafted game like Fallout from a very experienced company like Bethesda putting this together, and then you have the multiplayer aspect on top of that, yeah. that is a really beautiful recipe for a potentially very powerful experience. And I'd be willing to bet that everyone who's naysaying it is just doing so because it's different yeah and they're worried about the quality of their experience yeah and so no, that I brings that, me yeah. to my next point so i definitely fully agree with what everything everyone what you're saying the only concerns i have for fallout 76 if we're going to talk about what i'm worried about one the gunplay 
How is it going to feel playing Fallout as a first-person oh, right. shooter because of the VA, what is it, the VAT, the VAT system? Yeah. Where you honestly would go into slow-mo mode and be able to select yeah. where you're shoot, shooting? They've already announced that that's going to be in real time. Yeah, that's going to be kind of difficult. I think that's kind of cool. And I, and I honestly think it's going to be something where you're auto-targeting the highest uh, crit point, like crit chance automatically yeah. if you have it turned on, or you're going to go just based on where your crosshair placement is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, who knows? That hasn't been announced. I mean, they announced that it's going to be in real time. Yeah. So, I'm interested to see how gunplay is. Yeah. The only other concern I have is uh, with the announcement of nuke codes, where you go, basically, there's multiple nuke bases across your map. You go find a nuke base. Yeah. You collect the nuke codes. You launch a nuke in a random part of the map. And then your base has a chance of getting nuked if you're logged in when someone decides to launch a nuke, which well, could and, happen. And that's kind of what I want to, what I'm wondering about Fallout 76. Is it going to go, is it going to go sort of the route of, I don't know how many of all played Rust. Is it going to pull Rust where right. it's just hey, you log in and dude, it's a bunch of it's toxic just, people? It's a toxic community. I loved that game. So, it's because okay, it was you toxic. You always tried to get me to play it's Rust. It's because it was toxic I will and toxicity admit. is fun. But do you want to play a triple A game where you're expecting huge amount of depth in exploring? I'm, whenever I'm, you're just getting ganked by toxic players. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say a curse word here. It's not a bad one. Is it say that? It, but it's a saying, so I think it's appropriate. I know, Chad. I'm, we're, it's because it's coming from Facebook, so it does take a little bit of time on there. So, do you want to be on the ass end of an ass kicking? Like that that to me is is the biggest question when it yeah. comes to like okay, Rust is great, but here coming from me, I played Rust. Like I, I made a couple friends in Rust, but like if you're when I came into Rust it was a little late. Yeah. And there's already these sort of set niche sort of communities on servers. Exactly. And unless you're a part of those niche communities, then it's, it's you're not kind of going getting, good for you. Yeah, it's not going good for you, man. Yeah. Like I did pretty well as a single player. I mean, I built my own little base. I survived for a bit, but ultimately, Your I got, got taken over because the guy said, "Hey, you either join our clan and do X, Y, Z, or we're gonna do no, it. No, you don't get that chance. You're just they're just gonna destroy you. They're gonna offline raid you. That's so. That's that. That, and that ultimately, to me, is the biggest fall. So, fault of these sort of games I address that is 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 off, offline rating it, it it comes like okay i log on and boom my base is gone and i don't care how many auto turrets you've set up i don't like somebody is gonna figure it out somebody's gonna destroy it yeah you can say it's i don't know i i, I think the idea behind these sort of massive servers with Mold, like so many players base building and everything i i love the idea i think it's great but ultimately, I, I I fail to see, and I and I'll say this: I fail to see the execution. I'm not saying the execution failed. I'm saying I fail to see the execution in it. So I want to. So I want to address your point, and then immediately after, I want to talk about what Chad Munn is talking about because if you scroll up in the chat, his first question. Yeah. I want to talk about that. In regards to the battle royale, I want to touch on that and then go on to his next. Sorry, I'm. Sorry. I'm tangled up in your mouse, but I want to respond to you. So if someone in the chat has heard any different, which I feel like I've been following this pretty yeah. closely with uh, 76, your base is going to follow you. So if you're offline it's and gone. everyone it is gone. So if your base is offline and everyone that's tied to your base is offline, it's off server. So you can actually jump in a server and, and your base is going to spawn. Now, a couple of questions arise, like what are you going to do if your base is built on the same slot as someone else's base is built? Because yeah. I mean, I get, I get your base is, I get the map, your map is four times the size of Fallout 4, but four times the size of Fallout 4 for thousands and thousands of players, it's yeah. pretty common to find the best spot and to want to build on the best spot because the meta will be the meta. You can't stop the meta from happening. So well, I want to see how generated that, maps helps well, a little bit. It's not a procedural that. generated we, map though. Oh. It, do we have information about where people will be able to build bases? Or anywhere. Like, you can, anywhere. 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 So the only thing I can think of is there's going to be certain mm. zones. like the, So the, what I think, how it's going to be, this could have been leaked already. So if someone in the chat knows, please do. But I don't think I've seen this leaked. I assume the spots where the nuke panels are, we can go launch a nuke missile. 
those are going to be off limits and you're going to have to have like full on gear to go in launch the nuke and go you're not going to be able to build a base up around inside the nuke plant and block someone from going into setting up nuke missile i i, so I also there will be limitations i i think that there will probably be like zones like this is a zone that can build a base in it but and like this is your lim this is the limitation of how much a this. randomly procedural generated map exactly so you it, they can more easily build zones like hey this yeah. is this is a, this is a valid zone to build a base this is a valid zone to build right. a base but i built my base here what happens if i join someone who built their base that overlaps it'll probably just won't even let you join that particular server is that I, I, if that's how it's gonna be then so be it yeah i mean I, and that's and that was my only other concern is like how is that gonna go down so gunplay one was my main concern because i didn't like how fallout plays as far as gunplay goes i know i'm the oddball but i don't like how good fallout plays but how is it going to feel when in a real-time PvP situation? Am I going to feel like... As someone that plays Counter-Strike and feels like I have ultimate control over my character, am I going to have that same control in this game? No, I'm wondering if... Um, I mean, I haven't seen anything about Fallout 76, but the easiest, and I guess probably the laziest solution to this would be to have every base as just a vault. And you... You spawn those underground. You don't have to have the moving piece, bits and pieces about it's bases just you can phasing into existence. Space that's on your map at one point in time. Huh? It can be destroyed, and that was one of their main selling points. Is that, is that like know? just to make sure people are playing your game more? I mean, I mean, yeah. it's it's fun though. Because yeah, I, I guess it's fun. Because the whole idea was where you could uh, just nuke major cities and stuff, but they mentioned in their E3 presentation that. You can nuke the enemy clan's base. I, know, I that's feel been giving you problems. I right? have I have this funny feeling that they're gonna have to end up nerfing or making it more <coughs> difficult to get access to those. Well, on, I don't think they have random drop. It's a random drop. They've already announced that, and they already announced that it's gonna be really difficult to find. So you might have to team up with random factions to actually to go find it. I still feel like they might be underestimating just how crafty players can be. No, yeah, I think they are too. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I think they always do when they make these games. Yeah. And then they find out that, uh, you know, the players find some weird wonky way around it. Yeah. I mean, think about the the nerd community anyway is always so so intelligent yeah and then, and then you release it to thousands of players uh, and then well there yeah. you crowdsource the They'll solution figure it out yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah everyone will have a forum going and people will figure things out um what? let's address this question by chad which yes. um let's see at what point from these e3 games are the line between console and pc gaming becoming blurred or what do you uh, think consoles are going to become modular because I of the increased requirement of games, would rapid advancement? I'd love to answer this question. Yeah. I want to too. And I think this is a fantastic question. So thank you, Chad, for bringing this yes, up. Yes, thank you. Here, <clears throat> here's the fun thing about consoles they're less and less about the hardware and more and more about the intellectual property. Yeah. And guess which company has the strongest intellectual property on the market? <clears throat> Microsoft. So Nintendo. Really? It. I don't know. Man, I, 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 I want to. Okay, well, so no, I, 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 I want to agree with Jacob. I want to actually valid. agree with Jacob. I think that's a here, different. Here, yeah. I want to say who has the snobbiest attitude, Sony. But Sony, I agree yeah. with Jacob. Here's I agree with Jacob. Though, is that Nintendo has the strongest video game intellectual properties on the market? Yeah. They are very recognizable. They are all yeah. over the place. They have right. merchandise out the wazoo. Everyone knows who Mario is. You don't even like. You don't even play video games. You can still see the cheery plumber. I mean, the they had a hat. movie. <laughs> yeah. You know, they had that, games. Okay, they let's had... just phrase. They've had a really bad live uh, action movie. No. Yeah. John Leguizamo playing Luigi is the best thing ever. No, that <laughs> was a terrible movie. That was an awesome if you movie. Like it, you're I love terrible that movie. for saying you love it. I just, I'm a terrible person then. Because. It, anyways, what, Jacob. <laughs> the, the real cut and dry answer to this is that yeah. as hardware gets cheaper and faster and as internet becomes more stable yeah you are not gonna buy a video game console anymore from anyone other than nintendo because it's yeah. not you're not buying the hardware you're buying their ips well it, and, and so sorry no, oh, well, you know that's that's pretty much it like that they they've the one market that which they've really pushing hard is handheld yeah is 
I mean, the Switch is a case in yeah. point. It's 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 a video game console, a fully yeah. fledged console that you can take with you. Well, and and I want to, I kind of want to. I love I think, it. I think it's a point that I amazing. brought up, or I think, yeah, I don't know, because I, I love I love the idea of doing this. Is our our is is the the thin client gaming concept exactly yeah. and and it really does appeal to the sort of console idea the idea that you don't and i know he was uh chad was talking about um uh modular uh modular consoles Can we bring up this i don't again? think that the idea of modular yeah. consoles is as important as 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 a server side uh as server side clients are i really think that's the future of gaming I don't think it's modular as much. I, I think the the whole point of of console gaming is to not make it modular. If I'm if I'm understanding what you mean by modular, to be correct, is that you can switch out parts and create you know well, yeah. get better graphics stuff. I, I mean, eventually the, the big dream is that you you just buy a TV that has exactly. an internet connection that like and, a, and, and you just like you you buy a you get a controller with that TV and then you get access to all the video games right. that you want to buy. And yeah. That's it. So like I said, I think. The, and kind of on that, I think that, that that's the future of gaming really is that sort of thin client model where a lot less of the processing is graphic processing and, and I mean just any sort of any processing is really done on your local system uh, and it's more done on a, on the server side. And then that kind of goes toward what we were talking about a minute ago with Fallout 76, everything being online, online being yeah. the, is, is the necessary uh, utility to have yeah. when you, it you comes to gaming. That, like, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, and I know, and this is on, uh, uh, kind of on this idea. Uh, I just, I watched recently, or I half watched, because it wasn't, eh, it was an all right movie. But I didn't watch it all the way through because it wasn't that great. Uh, uh, Ready Player One. I mean, so, it was worth a watch regardless. That, it's worth a watch. I'm not saying it wasn't worth a watch. If you originally, I mean, I, I've read that book like 14 def- times. If, if the book is very good. Yeah. It, it, I want to agree with Ryan. If you, so look. I have not Which read Ryan? it. I, no, I'm Ryan Duckworth. I haven't read the book, but I'm going to yeah. say you have the opportunity at this point in time before you see this movie to read the book. Take advantage of it and read the book because yeah. as someone that doesn't read all the time, the times that I have read the book before I watch the movie, it's always better to read the book before you watch the movie. Yeah. It's funny how just do I it. can't even find the book here. Just do it. Does yeah. the book, or rather, does the movie not really characterize? Is it kind of cut corners? Um, I mean, and, you know, I yeah, that's it. always the case. Yeah. You have to you have to scrunch down like a twenty hour book into a you know I don't know how long it was, but uh, yeah. down into a two hour film. So I mean, yeah, you're very limited oh. on what you can explore. I that that reminds me of a little plug I have later, a suggestion. Uh, I'll bring it up later, though. Cool. I think it's it's so, not. Yeah, right Chad's now. wondering if you should get a switch. Um, so I, 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 I don't have a switch. This. I don't have a switch, and I would suggest you get one. So because I want to get one. I want to strongly suggest getting a suggest. I want to strongly suggest you get a switch now. So I got my switch about a year ago. There weren't really many other games other than Splatoon 2 yeah. and Breath of the Wild out. So and, I mean, okay. that, that well, a great, Breath of the Wild is a great game. Can I make can I make a small thing about Breath of the Wild? I played it. I've played a lot of those Hold Zelda up. games. You about to hate on Breath of the Wild? Can, no, 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 not specifically. Oh, okay. okay, I mean you can not <laughs> like Zelda. <laughs> I don't like Zelda games. That's fine. I've never found myself so in. I, I have to join Camp Ryan. I know. I'm on sorry. This. I I'm sorry. And I want to say I want to ask sorry. you. Did you? I'm sorry. I have a theory. I have a theory. What? How old were you when you played your first Zelda game? I played Ocarina of Time was the first Zelda game I played. How old so, were you? Uh, whatever, N64 is out? 12, maybe? 13? So you played it on release? Uh, no, I had a friend. Uh, my friend had it. So When was, like, it, did you play it for, like, five minutes? or? Uh, I mean, like, uh, at a sleepover, so maybe, like, a couple hours or so. Yeah. Did you ever own your own... No, I never actually. Now here's the okay. So yeah, I, there's a caveat to this. I never actually owned my own Zelda game. So my theory I played is it. holding true so far. Maybe I don't know what your theory is. So You're my being theory very secretive is my about theory this. is if you did not own a Zelda game as a kid, you do not like Breath of the Wild just huh. because of the Maybe. fact that you never got used to that style of a game. Yeah. And it's just this weird new. Co- so I like. To, I told Caitlin I was like the reason why I don't like Breath of the Wild is because it involves rage fighting and storytelling, but it also has mechanics where I have to dodge and avoid stuff and make decisions. 
<laughs> Which I'm not used to doing. Like, I'm used to Counter Strike yeah. where I line up smokes and flashbangs, and then I go, it's very I mechanical. Can, it's... And it's a mechanical game. So I'm making a mechanical decision. I'm not making a story mode decision. Yeah. Or I play Skyrim where I'm making well, a story mode decision where well, it's with, easy to play the mechanics. Well, it's not, it's not necessarily... The, and I, huh. I just it's, want to make a point here. It's, it's, not a, it's not the lack of strategy in it. Because like Counter-Strike is a very strategic game. Yeah. I will say this. Like We're, we're calling it very mechanic, and it yeah. is. But there's a lot of strategy that goes yeah. to Counter-Strike. Like, I... I, I I, yeah, no, no, oh, go ahead. I just want to say, do you feel like you enjoy Skyrim more because it's in first person and therefore feels no. more mechanical? I play Skyrim exclusively in the third person. When okay. I can. All right. Well, then that because completely... I feel like the third, the first person looks really shitty. <laughs> no, okay. But anyways, I want to get back to the. I want to get back to the, his question. Should he own a Switch? He's uh, Chad says he's borrowing buddies right now. He's out of town. Really enjoy it. Download Fortnite. Um. Also, Rocket League, Mario Kart. So, yeah, look, so I, I highly recommend. I want to yeah, say, yeah. like, if you're looking for the Rocket League is on Switch. Yeah, Rocket League's on Switch. So, oh, if, if, I'm gonna give you just a handful of games right now that I know that are worth the money that are either coming out or out now. There was recently a Street Fighter game that just released a remastered Ultimate Edition. Which, if you enjoy Street Fighter, perfect. It's there. Stardew Valley on the Switch. Oh, I really? can't tell you how hands much. Down, Switch? Hand, yeah. I own Stardew Valley wow, three times I didn't know that. on Xbox, okay, on PC, and on the Switch. And oh, I played this Stardew Valley. S T R. Oh, I, I can't. S T A R D A W V A L. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't laud enough I, over Stardew Valley. I love how we have touched base in Stardew Valley almost every week. It, <laughs> it, it, to me, like, you can't get a a better. Like and, and this is this another this is another thing that I, I I love about gaming now, um, as opposed to about five years ago. Dude, um, Chad said it's, he it's, cannot it's, play Stardew Valley. Why? No, yeah, I, I can't play it, the game it, either. And so, no, I get okay, it. I get I wanna, it. I want you I to finish it. your thought, but I want to keep going. Okay, so my thing with Stardew Valley, not just Stardew Valley, but games along this. I mean, you talk about Terraria, uh, FTL. Yeah. So FTL is faster than light. If you yeah. haven't played it. Uh, games like that it's this it's this idea that you don't need these amazing graphics to play it's it's pixel art sort of games it, you don't need this sort of immersive experience like i mean the the story not just the story but the 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 challenges and the 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 well, yeah, i mean the storyline can be part of it too but that's what really enthralls certain types of gamers yeah. and i don't want to say all gamers because i know that not all gamers are the same and we're a very I say we are because we are all gamers. We are a very wide or uh, varied group of people, and we all want different things. But this is a sort of the sort of alleyway that, that my my tastes really attract are attracted. Maybe it's because I have a really crappy PC and I can't run most <laughs> new games. <laughs> that will do something. No, for Chad, it. Chad's not to interrupt you, but Chad said yeah. that a ton of people played it in Korea. He just couldn't get into it. It's not just it's just not his style. No, I get that. Nothing yeah. wrong with it. It's no. not for and, everybody. It, it, and I would like to agree with you. It's it's a super niche game where yeah. you have to be looking for this type well, of experience where you're not looking for scores I would say it's kind of well, competitiveness it's to just, me it's, it's kind just, of an achievement hunter game yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah you really like once you get like there's no end goal here you just want to get to do better or do the best like it's not it's not even that you yeah. just want to play the game yeah I, I, I think it's, it's supposed a, to be relaxing I just want to say it's a mark of a good game because yeah. is it a niche game yes yeah. But is it a niche game that hits its niche? Really, really now, hits that niche? Yeah. His yes. next game yeah, coming out. I agree. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Wizardry Academy, which is going to be Wait. Stardew Valley meets um, something else. I oh, no. Oh, no, you were thinking about the dead, the cemetery one, weren't you? No, that there, one's already out. Yeah, oh, either way, this guy has out. another game code. So I want to continue back on what I was saying. Just list of games that are coming out. So yeah. I... I, I think I mentioned Fortnite, Rocket League, Stardew Valley, um, Street Fighter. There is a new um, Fire Emblem, which if you've ever played the oh, Fire Emblem series. That looks series, amazing. It really looks good. That looks... Okay. Uh, Fire Emblem most... Awakening on the 3DS was my jam. So the most Fire Emblem I've played was after... So I had a, I had a friend in high school who I say had an SNES. I actually have an SNES, SNES currently. Uh, but he had uh, one of the Fire Emblem games on that, and I played it. It is like the it's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's fun. the Nintendo 
RTS, if you played uh, Game Boy games like Advance Wars, it's the same producer, so yeah. you're going to find a very similar style there. I kind of so like super to good. describe it as like Fantasy XCOM almost. So, let me just talk, let me just no, add really on. Cool. Okay, go, go, go ahead. I want to go, I want to go into this. Because um, we've, we've been talking a little bit about, uh, we talked about XCOM and those sort of, plat I don't call them platform games, not platform games. Uh, but that's sort of that style of that, mm -hmm. that like... Uh, Turn-based turn -based strategy, strategy, sort of hex grid right. based. Yeah. Um, on that, do you think that 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 is a viable medium for uh, for for um, uh, indie gamers, like yeah. indie games? Advanced yeah. like, was a shit. Is that because I've been thinking about this lately? Like, I if you wanted to move agree, into sort of an indie game, like that, that seems like a very keep, good. Yeah. Play, like platform to, to go off there's of, right? A, Fire there's Emblem a game just the that's same uh, as being, Advance Wars. You know, worked on that got kickstarted, basically, uh, called, God, uh, what was it called? Chimera something? God. It's supposed to be XCOM, only yeah. if it was a horror game. Okay. Like it, it combines elements of yeah. horror and, and XCOM that. play. And there have been, there was another one called Massive Chalice, which also was an indie game that was also ki successfully kickstarted. So on that sort of, yeah. 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 I mean, I, sorry, I just want to touch on that real quick. Cause I, 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 like, I, I, I never really got into that style of game, but I want to just cause they're, I, they're just, fun. so yeah, I would no, say no, this yeah. style of game is very yeah, rem reminiscent. You, uh, no, you're fine. Of uh, final fantasy, just turn-based strategy. And also, a throwback to my favorite PlayStation One game, Legend of Dragoon. If anyone ever played Legend hey, of Dragoon, hey, hey, hey! If they yeah. ever remake that for PlayStation, I, I will buy a PS4 just that for that game. That was my first RPG. Now, I, I don't that want to get off on a side topic. Story. We're gonna pull this up. This is an amazing Let's game. See. Go ahead. But um, back to the topic. So, Advance Wars. Uh, Chad Munn mentioned they need to bring back Advance Wars. I agree. If you're looking for that fix, I would say um, Fire Emblem is a good fix. What's I, Battle I would, Chasers? What is that? Battle Chasers Night War? I don't think I've seen that. Uh, I do not think I've seen that. I haven't been browsing the indie database lately on the Switch. So you want to look that up? What is it called? Uh, Battle, Battle Chasers, Chasers Night, Night War. War. Now I did see a game that was I can't remember what it's called. It, no, it almost, uh, Night War is one. one. There you game, go. That's there was anyways. one game that looked like it was almost Got a Don't Google. Star, but you uh -huh. were on a raft the whole time. That I mean, game Don't Star. Cool. Uh, what's the? And there, oh, no, 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 there's no, a game called Rafts out right now. I don't I don't know if that's a it, raft. but it's on the Switch and it looks super yeah, good. Y'all seen that? You've seen that? Yeah. It looks interesting. Um, it just it. it but now, this looks like Diablo 3 off the yeah, bat. Yeah, kind of does. This or really like looks like Legends. Diablo 3 or See, Gauntlet. What I would suggest, though, for Chad is, like, he's got kids. They're going to be old enough very soon where they're going to want to play games. I know. Yes. I know your older one already plays games, but um, it's really good. The, the Switch is really good for kids. I mean, because yes. you also have those games that you can all play together, like Mario uh, Kart. Uh, Mario you know, Tennis. Mario so Tennis is going to be amazing. Party. They're just really fun games for everybody, as well as, uh, Chad, I mean, you're going to want to play the new uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah. yeah that's so and I want to I take on that just to get back so to my list before we go looking at uh, this game. Yeah. I Mario Kart. Mario Party, Mario Tennis, and Super Smash, and Pokemon, and All right. another Pokemon next year. Yeah, this is the this is the year where I'm gonna be spending more money on Nintendo games than any other console. This is the year that Trenton buys me a Switch. I'm not gonna buy Ryan a Switch. Wait, unless he shows me, yeah, hold on, we can start unless, a little fun here. Unless he shows for me Ryan. them titties. How about how titties? The titties. <laughs> Them okay. <laughs> Alright, so on oh man, I don't know if I, I I've been wanting to talk about this. Are you about gaming, gaming titties? Well no no no. <laughs> it, it's a kind of a controversial gaming subject, and that's why I think it's important them that we bring this up. Gaming? Yes, actually. No, very specifically, yes. Uh, yeah, my uh my kids watch the newest Tomb Raider, like because they were they them titties in Tomb Raider. No, the newest so ones. No, it. they took them away. It's more they of took a kid. Away? Yeah, yeah, it's more they of did. a kid yeah. movie. So. so them titties are not. I, they were asking about the old one, and I so, said no. No, I mean a very niche. I'm not gonna be buying the new Tomb very Raider. Very niche gaming concept. <laughs> that's all. That's these like dating sims 
and then there's one we're specific. Talking about, we're talking about hentai Boca Boca. games. I can't not just that. that. Not yeah. just. Are we going deeper than we're hentai go games? So there's a game on Steam right now that you may or may not have heard of. Is it a VR game? It's not a VR game. I don't know if they're making a VR version. Oh, there or is not. A, there I'm is sure a, there's going there to be. There is a VR dating sim. So there's a game called House Party. Don't don't Google it. Let's don't Google House Party. House Party. All right, Google it. I yourself. just want to say that. So th- there's a lot of NSFW content on there, obviously. Oh, okay. And okay. It's, my, my favorite, favorite content point is not the game for work content. Is <laughs> to have sexual relations with all the other people and how, this house party. How did you find is this, this new game? Grounds? I watch uh, the the YouTube people. I watch uh, the Yogg's cast. The- they played it. Um, and there's been other other. Do they yeah. have to like, like, yeah, like they fuzzy, censor all. They, well, there's a there's a button in there where you can censor out all of, like nudity and everything, right? Huh. But I mean, there's still the hmm. sexual acts are in the game. So I, I kind of want to, and like I said, I know it's a touchy subject, and and that's why I want to bring it up. Like we we there's a lot of violence in video games. Mm-hmm. And and uh, that is well, sort of <laughs> been not, I mean, regulated, but only regulated to a certain point. And right. so, what is I don't know. What's everybody's kind of opinion of on uh, regulating sexual content in video games? I think like I think that it's really hard to regulate something like that. Now I'm not saying agree with it. Now I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's tough to say because that's, Leisure Suit yeah. Larry has been around since right. the nineties. Yeah. That's, that's kind of that's been, bring that that's up. Been, I mean, it's been a game a game since forever, and it's kind of hard right. to say. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna limit this one game type because people like to play those adult games. They're like, well, adults hey, like to play adult you, games. You look wanna, at The Witcher. Look, Leave it up to the companies to make the decision of what they want to include their games. Yeah. That's it's, why I respect Rockstar Games so much is because they draw the line. If you're playing online. You don't, see you don't see them Yeah, I'm gonna solo. I'm gonna say actually even piggyback off that point. Yeah. It goes deeper than Leisure Suit Leisure Suit Larry. It does. Uh, there, yes, there was a game a that was released scene. on the NES. Oh, that, never mind, different game. Oh, a really long time ago. Yeah. Uh, maybe NES or whatever. Of uh, this, this uh, cowboy. Oh, you are bringing, bringing this one up. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, yes. It, it, like it was like an eight bit game of this cowboy. <sighs> Who has it's uh, bad. relations with whoa, this? Whoa, 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 Relations. That's a nice way to say it. Relations. Yeah. It's w- <laughs> it's the hard non-consensual hard. relations. Non-consensual relations. With an Indian woman who's tied up on a pole on the yes. other side of the screen, and the whole objective of the game uh, is dang. to get from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. Just so you can do it. So just so you can do yes it. Yes. It, it was not on NES. And I don't even know Crowd, it's hard. It was right on uh, <laughs> my cousin was it on Atari? Had, it oh. was. Okay. My cousin had this game. That's how long <laughs> the sexual content has been in video games. Yes. It's, it's, so it has not gone anywhere. I think the problem so the problem isn't a video game problem. And I don't want to sound up, like not patriotic or anything like that, but the problem is an America problem. Well, sexual content in America is a, it's a sacred it's, taboo that no one likes to do. Yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's like, like that's not a bad word. We have we, I mean, we, we, we have we yeah. have sex stores in the United States, but we don't like to acknowledge them in public, even yeah. though they're right there. And it it's, it's just, just a difference of culture. And there was a meme we've talked about it on the, on the podcast where if you look at this news article from the UK, it was a school teacher flashing her boobs. They censored the face, but didn't censor the boobs. Yeah, yeah, and, we But did in the United about. States, they censored the boobs, but didn't and censor not, the face because face, they yeah. want to. They yeah. want to shame the woman. They don't want to. The the act censor itself. Censor the act. They right. want to shame the woman. Right. And censor the right. act, not show the act and censor the. Yeah, yeah it, it's just. But no, no, no and, but yeah, that's kind of the whole. It's a different culture, man. And, but yeah, it, it's a cultural. And thing, when you yeah. but when you apply that to gaming, my 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 thing behind it too, and and it, not not my personal opinion or anything behind it, but like just a concept and idea that I had behind it, is that especially when you talk about games like Leisure Suit Larry or specifically this game I'm talking about House Party, is that there are there are sort of moments in that game where you go. And I know that games are a way to escape your reality yeah. and to mm-hmm. do something that you wouldn't do in normal life. But there are like moments in that game that are very, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that are very 
sort of like questionable as far as as, as your moral like your moral character would go and again yeah. and, and, and i want to kind of bring that up i understand that like we have war games where you are not, war, not even war games like grand theft auto where you're going to go around and kill people and you obviously would not do that in real life the, and I don't know if no, I'm saying, uh, the last point on that is that is that the that um steam actually specific on this game house party they tr- they tried there's a workaround for it uh but they tried to censor it where you, you could only download the censored version of the game yep mm-hmm. um they and in I, trouble for that too yeah, yeah, they did. Well, not in trouble. They just got a lot of backlash. They got a lot of backlash for it. Then yeah, they fixed it. And I, and I understand that. Like, I don't think I think the game developer is ultimately in charge of that that idea. If people want to, and you know, Steam Steam can carry the game or not. You know what? I I that's they're a private company. They can do what they want. Um, and so that's that's really what it comes to is those those sort of questionable moments in games, um, uh, like on the or the the kind of uh, that make you think like, would I do this in real life? And I and I and I'm I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the side of put it in the game and people will decide. I don't think this causes people to do these things. No, I guess where no, I'm going I'm, with absolutely that. Absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, I, I've even you know written full on essays about how awesome, violence yeah. in video games does, does not, not create or incite violence, and in fact, uh, it's backed up by science. It's also backed up in the music industry too, True. where yeah. that does not directly relate to it. Yeah. Uh, the the real thing I want to touch base on, just like how uh, a violent video game is an exploration of you know of that like the sexual content in that media is maybe an exploration of morality yeah and while you don't intend to act on something yeah akin to that nature it's still an exploration of like i don't, I don't want to say like what if well, but and we have a person in the room with kind of a degree on sort of this sort this sort of line and that is that yep that sex and violence that's me. yeah that's you that Man. sex and violence are uh, irrevocably related. Like, I mean, they're 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 sort of primal. Yeah, primal. They're they're yeah. tied into a lot of the same feelings that we have. Yeah. Um. And so they're they're not foreign concepts. Usually you... correlated to. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, the the I mean, when you talk about, and I don't want to get too deep into, it, but like BDSM and things like that. I mean, you can look at history to see that. I mean, yeah. When a city was sacked, when you know. Well, if you're yeah. gonna sack him, you might as well. Sack him. I was want to talk to Ryan a little bit later Pause. about about a, about something. That's fine. It's fine. Historical we'll subject. I'm guessing. Historical subject. Yeah. <laughs> is it time for the question of the night? It is. Because uh, Bolt it? needs to go to sleep. I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, it's, it's already one yeah. thirty. It's already one thirty. Is it one thirty? So, yeah. Oh, look, guys. I want to see everyone in the chat. Um, I want to talk about this. So yeah. What was your favorite game from E3? Now, I'm not saying do it today. I just want you to think about, like, what is your favorite game that's upcoming and why, and bring it to us next week. Yes. So we can have, like, yeah. a... a so Man, I, a, it's too bad like we just can't drop a poll. Like, a, hey, yeah. who won E3? Or, or not even a poll. Let's, let's just yeah. do this when we're talking. Like, let's just give it to the chat to say, hey, we're going to talk about this next week. So whenever we come here next Friday to talk about this stuff, yeah. one of the subjects is going to be... Let's talk about your favorite game and why it's your favorite game. And yes, Chad, you nailed it. Yeah. We're, you are the subject of our next you are. show. Yes. Or were so you I, saying it, U.S. as in go <laughs> with or, or, Is it USA? You know, uh, America is a, USA? It's, it's basically USA. a video USA. game right now. It's, it's, yeah. it's a really <laughs> shitty drop rate, but it's still it's a video <laughs> game. <laughs> oh, no. The I mean, servers it, are lagging. It, it, the servers please are don't, lagging. Please don't tell me America is a battle royale now. Uh, it pretty much is. But uh, <laughs> let's go. I want to hear the question of the day from you know, Mr. Jacob. I uh, To kind of tie in to what I was talking about earlier with CRISPR and genetic engineering, and then just a weird fun little question if you could genetically modify just like one weird trait like my jugs obviously when that technology becomes available you're gonna you know like fix your illnesses but if there, if there's like a weird if trait like that yeah like, okay. like even an augmentation far beyond your physical limits just this one trait what would that be i think it was supposed to be a u.s flag emoji yeah i think it was whoops so so the question is if you could genetically modify one physical not yeah one physical attribute about yourself little technical answer to why why um 
why that that emoji it's did not it's translate. It's because Ryan's a communist. Yeah, it's because yes. I'm a communist. Oh, there no, you go. No, it's Rip. it's because uh, it's because the way Unicode is written, honestly, and uh, it does not translate well from uh, from Facebook chat to. Uh, I'm not even sure. Like it doesn't come on to Twitch chat. Yeah, then yeah. it's also restreaming. Yeah, so, so it, it's going through yeah. a lot of loops. Yeah, so it's going through a few different things, and so yeah, emoji doesn't really translate well from Facebook to to the chat. Kind of their see. own oh, emoji going on. Yeah, yeah and it, it all has to do with the way Unicode is written. So I mean, there's a deep technical issue. A Unix system. Unicode, not Unix. They're no not related. dinosaurs. Unix. I'm sorry. Unix is not a dinosaur. <laughs> it is old, but it's well, definitely no, I'm not dead. It from Jurassic Park. It's a Unix oh. system. Oh. It's a Unix. I, mm -hmm. I just yeah. gotta select the right path. Yeah. And then she clicks yeah. through doors and get. I got the code. Yeah. And then the door is locked. That's the worst example. That's the worst example of how to access a Unix system, because that that process would have taken about two hours to do. So no 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 okay yeah but yeah that's that's a simple explanation as to why that did not work is because y y Unicode does not translate too too well from Facebook to anything else. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Oh, it's my turn. I, I asked train. the question. We're, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Um. Oh man. Okay. I got. Oh, I got two, but I have. To, I want to decide one. Like I don't want to do two. I don't want to do two. I want to decide one. Strong. No. Monkey tail. Monkey Ooh, tail. You yeah. want a tail? Are, are you gonna scream at the top of your I lungs wanna... about how you're transforming into your super s yes, sans? Yes. I want a super sand tail. No. No. Specifically, <laughs> I want a tail that's strong enough to hold my body weight. That's that's interesting, but okay. Yeah. So what? Uh, okay, so I gotta ask. I want to hear your top two uses for that tail. Uh, one as an additional hand or foot, like well, <laughs> I guess hand, so I can grab things with it. Yeah, because there's no thumbs. Well, I've got thumbs. I still have thumbs, but you can wrap a tail around something. Not why like, don't you say not like dexterously? Why don't I mean, you say just a like, tail with fingers? But like, hey, no, I can like, okay, like I want a beer, and the beer is over there. I can, instead of like using my hands because I like to use my hands when I talk, I can just use my tail, wrap wrap it around the beer, pull it over here, boom. If that's one, if you're if you're if number two is tentacle porn, I'm gonna be really upset with <laughs> it's you. It's not. It has <laughs> nothing to do with sexual acts. So Yoshi would not enjoy this tail. No, it no. would have anything to do with do that. Next tail, she would not. But the other one is, uh, she might want I to, could though. hang from it, and that just sounds awesome. Like, I just to have a tail that I could wrap around, like, a, a pull-up bar or whatever, and I could just hang from that. I don't know. It's not practical at all, but it sounds cool to me. I like the idea of being yeah, able to do it's that. It's just a fun... So, I, I, before we go on... I'd like to ask a question as a stipulant. So you yeah. said you said a tail. Yes. Specifically, Specifically a monkey tail. Specifically a monkey tail that's that can uh, hold fully my body functional weight. as yes. if you were a monkey. As if so I was a monkey. I want to ask, is this limited to superhuman abilities? Like, could no, I, 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 could I say my physical limitation is not limited to no, me? No, being no, 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 I, think, no, I could actually fly Take or astro project myself. Well, no, not it, astro projection. based on like the laws of physics. So I, I could fly. I, if you added big enough wings, yes. Yes. Ooh. I think I think that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's no. okay. Yeah, anything I, with I, them. I, I'm terrified of heights, so I don't think wings would work yeah, out for me. Yeah, I, I think I was going to go with that. Just wings. Just I mean, big yeah. wings. Is that, is that your wings. answer? Yeah. Got wings. Wings so you can fly. So can. I mean, so would you be able to retract these, retract these, so you look completely normal, or you mm -hmm. want to, you want to be some, no, be, you want to be some no. beaky mother effort? No, that. I don't, I don't think that. I think that if I got a tail, it's gonna be out all the time. I'll right. cut holes in my pants. And so you're be, like the kid from Jumanji. Yeah, I'm that kid. All right, cool. I'm okay with that. And I'm fine with wings that. sticking out. I mean, I can fly, so screw you. <laughs> you know. Is laser vision included in this? No, what? No. <laughs> what animal? No, you what have exists to, yeah. out there you that has take, laser vision? You have to take a trait from an animal. I'd like to or, or, breathe underwater. I guess I, you want to breathe underwater? Okay, yeah, gills. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gills. cool. Yeah. yeah. Go, wait, wait, wait. Does that include the ability to adjust your yes. pressure so you can go, okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, everything every, that all keeps you from being a human submarine and a human normal being. <laughs> Just, it's the same. Okay. 
No Whatever hoping. physical limitation needs but, to go away. Okay, are these like water world gills where you can also breathe yes. above water? Okay. Yes. This right. is straight up water world gills. hasn't gills. seen that movie. Okay, I gotta One agree. of the best mm-hmm. Kevin Costner movies ever. If you ever. have not seen water world, <laughs> it is, look, uh, this is one of the best bad movies you'll ever yeah, watch in terrible, life. And it's, it's not yeah. even that bad of a movie. Oh, no, it's not. Oh gosh, there's a water park just called that. Water world just, Kevin movie. Costner. just watch it. It, it. And honestly, water world's actually one word. There are plenty of Kevin Costner movies that are good. One of them is Field of Dreams, but an even better one is Waterworld. Yeah. It's, and guess what? They're on a boat the whole movies. time. Yeah. See, this what's is great about it's like a Mad Max watch. only if I watch this movie water. once it's a year. exactly what it is. There's a handful of movies I watch Kevin. once every year. It's this movie. It's The Labyrinth. It's stuff like this that's Thank worth you. watching. Salty Kale, always in with the clutch. It is probably what is the up, best Zazie Kevin Costner movie. No, in the, the best Kevin. No, the best Kevin Costner movie. Feel the dreams, the best dude. Costner, Kevin. What are you yes. talking about? If you feel it. Oh, a bunch of dead baseball out. players come out of corn. It's my childhood. Get out of here. <laughs> He's hey, throwing things at, now. At Chad, like it's it could be interior, it could be exterior, like anything yeah. within the realms of physics and biology. So look. Yeah. Basically, I my physical altercation is I am now Kevin Cosner, except I do not want to abandon the hot chick on the island all alone. I don't. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's what happens. Okay, that yeah, is what happens. Right, yeah. A spoiler sure. alert. Wow, way to ruin it for me. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen this movie, Golly. you should probably tune out now. Well, I, I won't do that. And just, just, uh, just, okay, go. Your turn. <laughs> I can breathe underwater. You can breathe underwater. You're good. All right, so we got monkey tail, wings, water breathing. Yeah. Uh, I'm terrified of the water, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit. That it's means it's the last every time. Is it thalassophobia? Oh, man. Like... I, I, Subnautica the game. Is it not hydro? I, I pee like, my pants. No, it's the last of, well, Is that really the, the There's hydrophobia, which is fear of water, but there's the last of fear of what's in water. That's yeah, like too dark we can't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's death. more accurate as far as that's exactly what it is. I have. Okay. I actually do. I am a terrified human being all the time because I have. I am phila- I have. Uh, phila- I have, have thalassophobia. I don't like open oceans. They terrify me. I don't like heights very much either. So it's not they're, good there they're, either. They're definitely correlated. Yeah, Oof. yeah, I think they are. F to pay respect. Well, we're gonna die on my, the land. <laughs> not not to, no, but uh, um, and also agoraphobia. I'm not an agoraphobic. But Come on now, fear of crowds. Is because no, 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 agoraphobia is the fear of wide open spaces. No, agoraphobia is. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, agoraphobia is the fear of fear of crowds. Actually, I'm, I do all right in crowds, but I do have an aunt who is an agoraphobic, and she didn't leave the house for like three years. That's some serious stuff. That's a debilitating fear right there, if you want to talk about it. Sorry, go ahead. That's all oh, I have. no. Oh, okay, so... I'm going to watch The Office. But yes. Mm-hmm. The modification I'd probably do would probably be... Do in penises. No. Yes. Would be <laughs> improving... I don't think any animals have the, that. The uh, my ear canal and probably like the... Uh, Ooh, like dog ear. ears. No, no, not like dog ears. Like something closer to like bat... I I would want to oh, like super like, like, like uh, not I, supersonic. I want to be able to have ears capable of like echolocation. Really, yes, like super echolocation. Mostly because if I ever went to a club, I could just like you could echolocation all the hot. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, cause then I who's like, ready to no, go? Like, think about it, how cool would that be? That would be experiencing like a, a, like you yeah, would be experiencing gosh, so many ways to go a nightlife environment in a completely new <laughs> you way. Could yeah, because you would echolocate through you could be the like club, a bear and then you would the just navigate to the sound as yeah. it washed over Nowhere the crowd. Oh, just a little Wouldn't small note. Cool? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fix. I wanna like anybody who out there who believes that bats have bad eyesight, you're wrong. Bats actually have really good eyesight. Uh, it's just they've evolved to also have echolocation. And also, nice. I'd like to add too if you think owls are really smart animals, they're actually one of the dumbest animals. And have the smallest brains of yeah, yeah. the bird kingdom. <laughs> they're one of the dumbest birds. We just, they just have really big eyes and we attribute that to intelligence. That's correct. No, yeah, yeah. Right. I think that they yeah, are really stupid. So, yeah. super super echolocation thing. so, what. Other than like, and like, I don't know, in dark clubs or whatever. He can echo locate yeah, dead like, titties. No, <laughs> oh, you mean other than like, what uses would I get out of that? Yeah, like, what, what do you really, like, what's your... S- some days, like, they're just, um, it's 
like really straining uh, yeah. i only have one really honestly one working eye the other one's just for show oh, and okay. like when it's been a long day i just want to like close my eyes but i can't exactly just continue about my day right and Wait. i feel like that would be which eye doesn't work the left one his left, not your left. No, I understand that. <laughs> okay. right, here, uh, so stage, I just wanted stage. to pause that so this has no effect on you. No. There, just, yeah, now I can't see. Here, oh my goodness. Here, the, look. Okay, put that on, close your left eye first. No, I do not want to do that. I'll, I have glasses, so. Okay, I mean. so if you close your left eye first. See, I always think I, I want to be an octopus yeah. and okay. have that camo. You want to squirt some ink and ish? Do you see? <laughs> I want yeah. that, I want that like, camo like so I can just kind of go The one on the right is not prescription at all. You it's just glass. Yeah, it's just the left. You know yeah. Right? yeah. You can squirt yeah. it. Yeah. Um, wherever which you is want crazy to. because... <laughs> so I want to... That's real quick because I tried on his glasses. I, I want to bring this up. I actually have a pretty strong prescription. Um, <laughs> and that prescription <laughs> is way, hold way, on, on. way... I'm going to let you finish. Stronger than mine. Jacob Ball had the best prescription like, glasses I've ever seen in my life. Okay. I, I, okay. Here. Try, try my glasses, uh, and then you'll get like barely anything out of it. Is what this show has come to? Try oh, my oh, glasses. Yeah. Uh, that's about our sponsor. I, hashtag glasses. Yeah. Dot, Ryan Kennedy. Glasses. Uh, glass. Yeah. I wear glasses. Glass. Yes. Dot glasses. Hi, my name I'll is wear glasses. Glass. Just, I, they're just, they're just glass. There's just nothing there. Just get the there. freaking okay. laser done and get over it. Uh, I do. Okay, hold Brian on. Laser. Small, Everyone looks so far away. Small point on on laser eye surgery. Uh, a, Stare last, directly into the sun after it's done. The last couple years, uh, <laughs> I have become available, uh, or my for uh, oh, he's available for prostitutes. My, my astigmatism <laughs> can enough. now be corrected. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm really happy about That's that. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm really. Happy. I can actually get laser eye surgery for the last my mental like for the ten years fixed. or whatever before that. <laughs> I was not available. There's something wrong with me. Or not a uh, viable it's candidate for whatever. But yeah, I my my eyes can be corrected now. Yeah. The last couple years. It's That's changed. Awesome. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, I have to go. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have the money for it yet, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna save up for it. And uh, oh, I didn't, no, I didn't no, 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 insurance will cover it all. Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't figure it out until recently, though. So, so while we just, um, hey, uh, political it's, campaign, socialized dental, socialized vision. There, let's go. Yay. Let's, let's, yeah, I'd let's, let's, let's go. We are at the introvert three-hour show right now. Oh God! Yeah, well, I think we really it's time are. to call it we a day. We have to go. It's, I, gotta, to I sleep. sleep. I sleep now. Well, well you're the one at twelve thirty. It's I, like two. Nope. It's okay. I had fun. <laughs> I need to I sleep now. Hey, we just had a new viewer. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> bye. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, I'm so sorry. No. Uh, hey, uh, drop a follow and follow. Come, come yes. hang out next week, please. We're here every a, yeah. Friday. Like, uh, man. Uh, able to what is where somebody try to able read that to and i can't see it from here uh i'd actually love to touch base like this because i have information <laughs> here but i have to talk about I, I we don't have time tonight unfortunately. Chad, please tune in next friday yeah, we're tune gonna in next friday and awesome i will chat. talk to you about the genetic copy, structure of whales copy like, and paste I will talk to you about whales. copy and paste yeah, that chat. comment into uh, a text document and uh, see you for next time. Yeah. And copy it in Notepad Plus. Cool. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because Notepad Whoa, Plus is only hey. for coding. Ow! I just got assaulted by a duck. Ah! Salty. Uh-oh. When you're coming back to work, we miss you. Andy, hey, appreciate Salty it, Salty also, thanks for the hundred bitties. Oh, Salty's on vacation so much, right man. now, and he's been playing Skyrim. Or not Skyrim, sorry. Uh, 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 no, no, no. He's been playing, he's been playing um, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Nice. Yeah. ESO is a good okay. game. Hey, appreciate it, guys. All right. Well, hey. hey. Yeah. Chad, yeah. next time you're in town, you're going to be on the show. So. Hey. You, be ready for it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Peace out, guys. God damn it. Man. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Right, Peace hey, out, everybody. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Oof.